The mystery man is here. And I'm not talking about the beard oil. Welcome, guys. This man over here, I don't know which way it shows up. I'm not good at directions. Yeah. <laughs> My good buddy and owner of Beard Octane and Beef Octane, Joe. Joe, how you doing? Good. Yourself, brother? Doing well, man. It's Friday. These uh, online teaching weeks seem to like be a little bit longer. Like I, I don't hate them by any means. I actually really enjoy it. But it just, for the time, just, man, it adds up on these weeks. Yeah, it's been a crazy week on our end too, especially with the, you guys are still doing the hybrid and everything, right? No, we're, or we're just, we're still remote back? only. Yep. Yeah. They're, yeah, gonna they're gonna be phasing going back. back. A weeks. Yeah. They're gonna be phasing back the little kids. So Maddox starts back on Monday in person hybrid, but I'm still remote for middle school. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. And thank you guys for coming on in. If you know anybody that likes beards or hanging out, uh, welcome, welcome them on in. Uh, Tonight, we got a bunch of things going on, primarily just hanging out with you guys, chopping it up, and uh, we are going to be announcing the winner for the name scent of the mystery oil, and there's like, what is it, 11 people win something from this contest? I think that's what the final is. Is that uh, right, Joe? Yeah, we may extend that a little bit, but yeah, right now there's uh, 11 Definitely. And even if you didn't enter, guys, we're going to be throwing in some some random giveaways and stuff throughout the night as we hang out. Uh, so we'll be breaking all those down and have the big announcement towards the end. Uh, but we also will be enjoying ourselves. It is a Friday. So over here, I'm rocking one of my favorites, Blake's Flannel Mouth, rocking the season. They've changed the label and actually added some flannel on there, which I think is phenomenal. What, what's the one that we had, Dan, on that live stream? Yeah, so we had uh, J.K. Scrumpy, I believe. I got to talk to you about that because I think I went on their website and they don't ship to Connecticut. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I think yeah, Doug yeah. Sloan was supposed to uh, hook me up, but you know. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> you know. You know. Then I'm also chomping on some some jerky here. I have, uh, of course, my one of my favorites, the Blazing Buffalo from Beef Octane. I'm gonna finish these hot sticks because I, I I love spice with with cider. It just goes so well together. And then I really love these flaming hot Cheeto flavor uh, matador jerky. Cheeto, it, oh my god! Oh man, it's phenomenal. Oh it, my, it how hot phenomenal. are they? Hot or? Uh yeah, they actually got a little zip to them. That's crazy. It, it is crazy. It's it's uh the, it's supposed to be. Ba Have you ever had flaming hot Cheetos? Oh yeah, I love them. Yeah. Do you? Oh, so yeah. all my students eat them. I've never had them, even though my dad worked for Free Delay for thirty years. Yeah, but my students That's love them. Nice yeah, my boy uh, Sonny, uh, he's probably in the. Oh no, he's sleeping. He he sleeps like an old man. He uh, he sent me out some. He works for Frito, and it's so good, so good. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm enjoying these. What That's you got over awesome. there tonight? That is awesome. Yeah, what you got to drink tonight? And tonight and I got actually. I was going through my, I have like a rainy day fridge in the garage. So nice. yeah. So anytime we have like a party at the house and people come over, they leave their uh, lone soldier side so grab. I got a, a Buddha blonde ale. It's out of Massachusetts. Okay. It's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. I think it's okay. like a 5%. It's very smooth. It's awesome. That's so, nice. Yeah. It's good. What beef octane are you going with? Beef octane. I got a selection. So I was thinking either some sriracha. Um, or also, I also grabbed the, uh, the blazing Buffalo as well. Yeah. Those yeah. are two of my top three. Do you know, I think you probably know my third in the top three. Well, you, for, you got what blazing Buffalo, Sriracha, Sriracha and, uh, street meat. I do love street meat. Street but that's amazing. Probably fourth. That, that Korean barbecue. I'm sure that's I probably that. fifth. Oh no, that's fourth. Same thing. Yeah. So my fav my next top three favorite is uh, the turkey jerky. Oh, the turkey jerky. See, the turkey yeah. jerky is the same flavoring as the street meat. Ah, it just that green me. barbecue taste to it. Yeah, I do like it. I do enjoy it. Yep. And yeah, the uh, the lights. We didn't say a word to each other. Was, yeah, mean, we're dying. Everybody's like, <laughs> probably, they text each other. What are you wearing? What are you, what are you wearing? Yeah, right. we, we, <laughs> we didn't coordinate at all. We, we just threw it up. Is this are the new are the lights new for you? Uh, for me, actually, yeah, because I mean, a lot of you guys know I don't, it's not too off. I get on streams just, just because my regular work and just my schedule in general, um, between work during the day and coming home and you guys see my posts at one, two in the morning of making stuff and just grinding away. So 
it's not so much that I don't like doing it. I'm kind of shy sometimes, believe it or not. I usually have the biggest mouth in the room. <laughs> kind of weird. But uh, no, it's something I'm starting to get into now. So I've been kind of, you know, picking away at equipment. Um, so I'm still kind of getting used to something goes wrong and blame it on me, but yeah, no, I picked up the, the lighting, um, a nice boom mic. Yeah. A bu bunch of just, you know, playing around. The biggest thing was lighting, you know, figure out like the background lighting and, you know, the light, the lights in front of you and stuff like that. The per you know, that was probably the biggest, you know, just watching YouTube videos was, you yeah. know, big help, you know, and that's, that's what it comes down to these days is literally you can just, you can figure anything out. Oh, it's, it's great. I give you props, you know, that in, you know, all the, all you content reviews that make these amazing videos and high quality, there's a lot of work that people don't understand, like how much work goes into it, you know, just to get the quality, you know, and then you got to come up with content and talking to a camera that doesn't talk back. It, it It's weird, but yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah. It's uh, there, there definitely is a lot to it, but it's, yeah, you got to make it look easy. That's, that's the name yeah, of the game, just, just like with a company. Um, so, for those of you that don't know you, is there whatever you feel comfortable sharing? Do you want to let them know anything uh, on your life outside of Beard Octane? Huh. About me. Well, I am out of Connecticut, obviously. Most of you guys should know that, I would hope by now. Um, I am in law enforcement during the day. That's kind of my regular daytime job, if you will. So I've been doing that for 18 years now. Um, I was a, before that I was a carpenter and, um, they did that for quite a while. So then, yeah, I did that during the day and I started the company probably a little bit over two years ago. We, yeah, July 4th. So that was yep. a little bit over two years ago and then got into the, uh, the whole beer game with that. Didn't realize it is, it's funny because when I get new customers that come in or we started doing like farmers markets and events around our area, you're trying to explain to somebody, you know, to use any kind of product and they look at you like, no, I, I didn't know you were supposed to. And yep. you go and explain it to them. And I was the same way. I never used product. It was usually whatever shampoo was in the shower. And that was, you know, you wash it and went out the door, you know. So just learning the whole art and it's almost like a cult following, like with the beard community, if you will, just the, the techniques, the products. And, you know, there's a, a lot to it. So to have you, you know, kind of take us on this journey as well. And all, you know, everyone else in here with their feedback and their accomplishments and, you know, shortcomings you will with your beard that's all it helps us learn you know and grow together so yeah so i mean yeah if you got questions about me i mean go and ask them but cool yeah, that's pretty much it you know and yeah and then he'll, hello to everybody out there i got a student that's in here so hello to my <clears throat> students to my friends to any family members anybody that's over from beard octane uh welcome guys i do appreciate it chris thomas asked a great question i know the answer but if you want to clarify law enforcement with a full beard how how is that um, I am a detective. We can leave it at that. So. <laughs> yeah. I actually had a guy, uh, we were camping last weekend and he came over and goes, where did you get that logo on your truck? That is amazing. And he had yeah. a nice little beard, kind of similar to yours. And I was like, it's actually me. And he goes, oh man, I need it. He said, I'm, I'm law enforcement, but I'm undercover. And so I could have a beard. He like had to explain the whole thing. And, uh, it was pretty interesting. He's like, I run like, a um, a judo and, and Brazilian jiu jitsu oh, really? kind that's of like cool. a cover too. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So he, he had a full beard too in law enforcement. That's awesome. Heck yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys, everybody that's out there. Joe, I'm getting a, a tad bit of echo. If you're able to just turn it down, probably just a little, you know, I probably hit the, um, <laughs> all right, we're good. A new thing there. And hello, Emery. Hello to everybody out there. Uh, Dan C most watched beard on YouTube. Not even close. There are some massive beard channels that are outside of like what we do. Um, there's a guy, I think he's from Europe and he does food eating challenges. It's like bearded beast. Somebody in the chat will probably know who he is. Does he do like competitions or something or he does competitions, but it's like he does a daily video and he, he just, eats massive amounts of food and he's got like millions and millions of views. He's like truly, truly ki killing it. And what was, uh, it, what was the name of that guy? Had, I think it was on the food channel. He would go around like the different yeah. locations and he like started getting, you know, gaining a lot of weight and also. Yeah. Yeah. They got a new guy. Diet. now. 
Yeah, yeah. there's a new, a new dude who's who's right? similar to him. Yeah, that's the guy. Beard Beard meets food. It's a really good channel. Yes, that's it. Yep. Yep. So I, I enjoy that one. And uh, yeah, thank you. Saw so somebody new in here, Daredevil, uh, new here, but love the videos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, kind of like you were talking about earlier, when you try to explain like a company, and people are like, "What? Like you you have beard products? What you do?" Imagine telling people oh, yeah. like, "Hey, I have a YouTube channel. It's doing." moderately well and they're like what is it about and i'm like uh beards and they're like you have a youtube channel about oh, yeah. beards it's and funny like, people come up and you know <clears throat> we're doing limited events because of the whole pandemic and everything like that but you explain to them hey how you doing you know check out my you know my beard products they're like as in like beer you make beer no for your <laughs> beard and they're like oh and you gotta then you go into the whole thing explain it to them and you know yeah but you know, you meet some awesome people and they get into it and it's awesome when they come back like yeah. Dude, changed my my life, my routine. Yes. And yeah, it's it's awesome. Because think about like what percentage of beardsmen, their first experience with beard products oh, is yeah. some garbage off the shelf. Yeah. And I mean, I get the comments all the time, like, oh man, I used to use that and I found your channel and it was a wrap. I knew it wasn't quite right. But how many guys have just given up? They try that that garbage oh, yeah. and feel greasy and they're like, This is what's having a beard? Nah. I'm Cause straight because you, you'll ask them, you know, what you know, you'll get into the conversation, you'll ask them, you know, do you use any product? And you're just waiting for the, you know, yeah, I went to CVS or Target and I got yep. something off the shelf, and you're like, mm, you kind of like, you know, there's some decent stuff out there, but you're like, all right, right. and you explain this is why you want to try something like this and you know, the benefits of it. And but yeah, yeah, absolutely. My favorites when I go to a store and a guy is like, because when guys try it for the first time, they're almost kind of like unsure, you know, they're kind of like, Oh, I'm going to browse over here. Maybe look at this yeah. box. They're almost like embarrassed to look at it. And I'll see that all the time. Like we went to target the other day, other day, and there's a guy looking at a company. Uh, we'll say rhymes with uh smeared schmize, smeared schmize with a Z on the end. <laughs> and uh, he was looking, I was like, Hey man, no, no, no. I said, here's, there's some great channels. Check out, my, or there's some great companies. Check out my channel. I said, if you're here in target, check out Goodfellows or beard brand. Those are really good options. Yep. But put that garbage down. That, that is not uh that is not good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two humans much better looking than me. Hey, Andrew, you're beautiful, man. You got you got a beautiful soul. So beautiful. Dan, I don't think I'll ever beat your hat game. No, my, my hat game's strong right now. How it many is. hats do you have now? Because you're I don't know. The wall last time I came up, you had quite a bit. You had yeah, a couple it's walls, anyway. doubled. Ooh. I I love right, it. Actually. It's become a thing. I got a new Detroit grooming hat on the way, which I'm really excited about. The red and yeah, white one. Like, uh, a red one? Yep. They come up with some awesome, like, sweat. Yeah, yeah I mean, I agree. And it's yeah, a nice balance. A guy. I love rocking like this because it screams beard. Yep. Right? I'm a bearded guy. But then yep. Detroit, I get to rock the it's local cool style, the whole, yep. you know. Yep. Yeah. Um, Dan, did you achieve your in shower conditioner YouTube rating you were looking for? Uh, yeah, man, it's been killing it. That video, uh, I stamped it to the front of my channel. It's it's been doing really, really well. Which one was that? I'm sorry, was that the uh, conditioner one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that one's one awesome. Hurt. Nice and short and sweet. And yep. Perfect. Yep. So it's it's been crushing it, and it uh, I think is going to really help the channel out, and like instantly helped out a bunch of guys. And the comments were like, "Dude, I." I was using conditioner. I would rake it all off. He said, I did it for one day, your style, and it's already made a difference. And I'm like, and, and maybe that's just in your brain a little bit, but hey, who knows? Who knows? Maybe it helped out. So yeah. And then I get a get Dana Pig, get the response. No, yeah, don't don't <laughs> let them buy the, the garbage stuff. There's some really, really bad stuff out there, and you can't even find any information on on anything at all. All right, Troy's got a question for you. I can give my take on it, but I, I feel like we have the same answer here. Uh, is leather strong in that liquid gold? Not a fan of leather. No, I would say more the the oud and the the frankincense. Yeah, I don't really, I don't know if I can pull any leather yeah, that's out of the lightest out of all of them. To be honest, yeah, with you. I think it just kind of pairs in to give it that kind of cologne essence with all the I'm other. I'm a fan stuff. of leather, but sometimes it could be too much. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Joe, I spent 15 years in law enforcement, two of which was CID. Now I teach law classes in high school. I know the true weight of the badge. Uh, thank you for your service, brother. Yep, thank you for your service as well, brother. Appreciate it. Absolutely. I do have my beard octane socks. I just That's I haven't right. worn socks in a long time. So <laughs> it's not frequent for me, especially or I haven't worn long socks in a long time. Yeah. That's not, not a big one. 
Um, I finished uh, my first week of ginger jamboree, butter, and oil. Really enjoying it. Beard Octane Biotin came in also. First time using Beard Octane. Really awesome products. Appreciate you, Stu. Very That's cool. Awesome. I ordered uh, beard conditioner. Beautiful, beautiful. Send oh, Dan, the, um, I don't think I told you before, and the, your code is for 20% off. for Oh, wow. Night. All right. Hey, huge news, guys. Same code, okay. Dan C10, but I'll get you 20% off. Beautiful. And it, if it's already been set. So if you used it before, you know, during the stream, you'll get the 20% automatic. Cool. <clears throat> I did not even know that. Awesome. Uh, Troy says, awesome. I'm going to buy it then. Huge fan of Woodsy Sense, Oud Wood, Sandalwood, Patchouli. Thanks, fellas. Awesome, Troy. Uh, definitely, yeah. Use that uh, Dan C10. You'll get 20% off. Barbecue Steve. That guy, he needs to come over and be like my personal chef. Oh. Uh, he puts those videos with like the, I think he just did like the burnt or whatever he did. Oh, my God. <sighs> Some of them are so yeah. juicy. Like, oh, it's it's borderline. It's an art. The two, the two most like provocative videos I watch yeah. online are your butter videos and Steve's oh, cooking I videos. I did, <coughs> excuse me. I can't yeah. handle anytime, your butter ones. Anytime I do a story with the, the whipping, I'll get a message from Dan and be like, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why are you doing that? It's kind of like a creepy oh my too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh. yeah. Every time. Um, Josh asks if I don't like ginger scents. Josh, how do you not like ginger, oh. man? That's one of my favorite scents. Uh, which butter should I snag? So, Joe, what do you have in right now in butter? For butter, I actually have I have um tonight I have a neutral because I had the mystery scent in for the oil and I haven't okay. made the butter for it yet. So that's why I have in tonight. Um yep. yesterday was I did straight up envy. Um I, I've been doing the butter during the day a lot lately, just to get yeah. that that fullness and yep. I got it in right yeah. now. What do you have in what do you have in stock in stock for in butter? In stock, I think I have every, I should have everything except for Roosevelt, which I'm whipping tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Uh, Josh, if you don't like ginger and you're using butter, especially at nighttime, give downshift a shot. I absolutely, absolutely love downshift. So that would be that would be my recommendation. Yeah. What do you what do you say, Joe? Definitely downshift. That's like I mean, if you don't Use that during the day. Definitely, that's like a perfect nighttime. Yeah. Just a yep. warm, comfy, especially now with the fall coming in. That's just a, a super smooth scent yep. for the night. Um, I've been hooked on that Envy Ginger Jamboree quite a bit lately. Yep. Um, that's probably been my my go-tos lately. Yeah, I've uh, Ginger <laughs> Jamboree stays in my shower. It's literally in there right now. I love that bar soap so much. I don't... Uh, I don't use it every, I use it probably once a week on my beard. And then I use it a couple times a week on my body. I like to rotate between like a liquid wash and loofah. And then it's like the big controversy in the world, but I go straight up bar to body, straight yep. up bar to man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that, that's what it's for. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. You got to throw it right, right. right on there. <laughs> bar to <Absolutely>. man. <laughs> Mac with the cheese. Mac, we got to get a picture of your beard. This dude's got a luscious beard. And he's over here throwing some. Uh, Jim Carrey. He's got Lloyd Christmas for Avatar. Yep, yep, some Jim Carrey, man. We got to get uh, we got to get get your picture on there. Uh, looking for Citrafella body bars and beard soap. Have any in? Um, if it's not in, I'll put it in right now because I have to actually make soap this weekend as well. Perfect. So it, it probably won't ship till Monday anyway. So I'll just throw it in right now. Awesome. All right, I saw another. I got LCW, and that's just a co-wash, right? No, LCW is a beard wash, JD. Um, that's a straight-up kind of daily gentle wash, meaning it's not going to strip your beard. It's not going to really dry it out. It's just going to give you a good, great lather and a good washing. So, yeah. Andrew said, uh, hello, hello, busy night. Just want to stop in, say, say yeah, good night. Hey, thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Citrafella soap is in stock. Dun, 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 dun. You ask and you shall receive. There you go. Boom. Um, yeah, so this is a great question. I've, I've talked about a couple of videos. So I heard you say put oil in while your beard is still a little wet in the amp. Shouldn't you do it dry? Um, you can do whatever you would like. Of course, it's it's completely up to you. Uh, but for me and uh, a lot of people, my, my huge preference is to lock in that moisture. Uh, when you have your, your porous hairs, your hairs are full of uh, like essentially openings. And once you fill those with water, a great product will coat them on the outside and then absorb. Uh, so you get to kind of get like a little extra boost of of uh, hydration when you do that. Yeah, and I, I'm also just so everyone knows I'm going to be um, tweaking the um, directions on my beard oil bottles. I'm nice. just finish up the labels because it says to put it in dry, but 
you guys made me a believer as well. That, <laughs> you know, yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it definitely now, even when I come in, I need to like just like a reboost to throw some little bit of oil in. Yeah. And for a water, I'll spritz it and then yep. I'll put, get the oil in. It just goes right through a lot easier. So absolutely. You'll see absolutely. that comes to the uh, directions here. And uh, for those of you just coming in, yeah, guys, we are going to announce the winners tonight. We're going to be hanging out. Uh, somebody asked, Joe, what do you have? Uh, what are you munching on over there? Right now, I actually, I grabbed it. I thought I grabbed the sriracha, but it's actually fire hazard. Mm. So that's that got some heat to it, right? Heat to it, but it, it's a good, sweet heat. It's amazing. And we have, okay. um, I was telling Dan before the stream, our, we were waiting for, we kind of started running out of stock on a couple of things because we were waiting for the, um, the USDA to approve a bunch of the labels because legally to be able to say something's gluten-free, high protein, low sodium and stuff like that. We had to send our labels to the USDA to have them um, inspected for the ingredients, everything like that. So for us to legally make those claims, that's what we have to do. So that that took probably two months longer than what it should have, but everyone's working from home right now. So kind of dragged that out, but that got approved. So we're going to have six bacon flavors coming out. We have a, another hot one. We got a couple other flavors. We have a, a dog jerky coming out as well. Um, I think so I, cool. I yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. I bought we we bought an ice cream truck. I'm converting it to a beef jerky oh, truck. So that's did I show you that yet? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I took the ice cream cone off the top and stripped it down. I put a big bull's head on it. Yeah, so I got to get that's it cool. wrapped, and that's for the fairs next year. That's cool. gonna be awesome. Right. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> Quick fire questions here: Is fir tree coming in this year? Yes, absolutely. Probably I'm thinking just because it with the fall and everything like that. Probably towards the end of october so probably in a month or so that'll start rolling out okay and then what about we got a couple people back to back asking about coconut oil coconut oil actually the the, the factory the fda facility that i work with for my supplements they stopped doing coconut so that's the reason why that's done now but i have something else that will be taking its place probably three four weeks or so and okay I think you guys will be pretty happy about it i think i know um, I think I have an idea. Is, is the letter C involved? Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, crap, I was shopping. Octane conditioner <laughs> in shower or after? Uh, he has both. Uh, the beard octane beard conditioner is for in shower. And then he also has a leave-in conditioner, which is for after. All right. So Josh Clark asked, what's in beard tonight? I believe Joe said he has the mystery scent plus neutral butter. I have in the mystery scent plus uh, Mackinac butter from Detroit Grooming. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Any big beard oil caddies for the collection? What, what's going on with your beard caddies? Um, those should be back in stock because I had the one that – the wall caddies are in, in stock, the smaller ones. The bigger ones that you guys see pictures of, those are for, I use those mostly for like wholesale counts, for like counter countertop displays because it holds – you know, the eight ounce bottles, bombs, combs, all that stuff. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I could add those to the site. Um, I do have the uh, the longer, I think it's six or maybe eight oils and bombs. Um, those should be in, I thought I was going to have, actually, that's a good reminder. Probably next week, I would say I'll have those back in stock. So, so the one I have is two rows of six. Yeah, that's what the original one. Yep. <clears throat> and I also have a, um, a plastic one coming for like, uh, the shower and on the countertop in the bathroom. So it doesn't, if it gets wet, it's not a big deal. Okay, nice. And then uh, when will the option for getting oils without the dropper and just uh, just the, the tap bottle? Oh, for the, um, the Orpheus uh, reducers, whatever. Um, I know, I know Dan's a big fan of them, but it's just kind of a, a signature thing with the red dropper tops. So maybe some, you know, kind of like the Coburn series, um, I did the, those dropper, the reducer tops on those. Yep. So not to say no, or I have something in the works possibly that may kind of change the whole bottle thing. So we'll, we'll see. It's not, it's not a definite no. I just got to see how the bottles come out. But, um, but for now it's gonna be the red dropper tops for a little bit longer. Cool. So. Um, how often do you recommend using beard octane neutral conditioner? Uh, it depends on kind of your beard, your situation, but my rule of thumb is conditioner two to three times a week. Once you get more than that, you're starting to over condition your beard and you're going to run into styling problems, dry skin problems. So I would say two to three times a week is where I would be at for conditioner. Uh, great question here. Donald says, Joe, what made you get into the 
the jerky business. You were building this beard company, doing well. It's growing. What was like, hey, man, let me get jerky going. Yeah, I mean, the beard business obviously is doing very well, thanks to you guys. Um, we'll get into that later on. But um, yeah, the jerky stuff, to be honest with you, that was something pre-beard octane. That was something I wanted to do. Wow. Yeah, to be honest with you, that was probably three, four years ago, an opportunity presented itself and I used to make it and just didn't have the, you know, we kind of looked into, you know, it could it be a thing, but just time and it, it wasn't the right, something kind of fell through. It, it wasn't the right timing, if you will. So then I started this whole beard thing and it kind of took off, but um, so <laughs> that kind of put down the back burner. So once, I mean, just kind of like starting a, a small business and I had a pretty successful small business before, uh, beard octane, but, um, you kind of learn as you go, you know, you learn from your mistakes and you improve on things. And if I'm going to start a company, you know, I, you know, if I were to start a new company that I'm going to do this different, you know, you kind of, you just learn as you go. Yep. So with the, the beef octane that just kind of came to, and then it just kind of goes hand in hand with the beard stuff, I think. But yeah, um, it, but that was honestly something I was, I wanted to do before the whole beard octane thing. So um, it was the timing was right and we nailed down a pretty good, you know, USDA facility to do it with. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And I saw a comment just come in, Richard kind of piggybacks off that. He said, I looked at the jerky last night and most of it sold out. When will yep. it be back in stock? And uh, the yeah. teriyaki street meat and sweet and spicy will be back in stock. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't get delayed in freight will be this coming week. Um, and then all the other flavors plus, another nine are going to be back in stock. That will probably say three to four weeks or so, but we're going to be stocked up plenty through the, the holidays. Perfect. You know, because like I was saying before, the only the, we sold out, but we held production up a little bit just because we want to get these new labels with the new claims uh, approved so we can print everything at once. So cool. And uh, what's your stock looking like on LCW? LCW was supposed to be in yesterday. And that is coming freight right now. Um, that will be enough to get us through at least six months. I have a lot coming in, but because of the freight delayed because of the whole pandemic stuff. And yeah, so I'm hoping Wednesday, Thursday next week for that. And we'll have everything. As soon as it gets here, I'll be pouring away. So I'll have everything back in stock and possibly another cent or two. Okay. You're, uh, it doesn't come out often, but your accent slipped in there a little bit. When you said oh, did it? about yesterday. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you threw a, li a little bit of uh, the East Coast in there. Yep. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, what's your spiciest meat? And this is one that I haven't been able to try your top spicy guys because of the gluten in there. So what, what's your spiciest? The spiciest would be the Bearded Reaper. That one is a um, Carolina Reaper pepper. Mm. That's the hottest, but it does have a good flavor to it, but it is hot. Um, I do have a new one, Scorcher, coming out. The artwork is absolutely amazing. That one, that has a mix of a few different peppers. That one's pretty good. Um, the Fire Hazard I'm eating right now, that's probably second or third hottest, okay. but it has a real good sweet jalapeno taste to it. It's delicious. It's one of those ones that's hot, but you can eat it and not you know, yeah. suffer from it. Um, so I would say that and probably like Thermite, probably like three hottest. Actually, that Mango Habanero has a, a kick to it as well. Yeah, a lot yeah. of sweetness to that too. Yeah, it has that fresh mango up front, but then it it gets you. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of heat, uh, we're doing another, we do it pretty much every Saturday, but moderator meetup at B dubs and Joe's joined us for that. Um, they have a bunch of new sauces at B dubs really? now. They got four new sauces, and one is a new blazon, and it's a Carolina Reaper blazon. Ooh. What do you now when you get your wings? Do you go for what like flavors do you get? Do you go like super hot on your wings? Uh, so I usually I like a good if I'm at B dubs, I like medium. That's yeah. like great so flavor. Buffalo. I just enjoy that buffalo. Yep. And then I also like their like Caribbean jerk. Yeah. And then, That's got a little zip to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I like even some of their dry rubs, like their Chipotle. Their Chipotle, um, I was gonna say that yeah, one. Yeah, it's really awesome. nice. So um so yeah. we're going tomorrow and I'm like, and they have they have like a pizza sauce now. And I'm like, Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But yeah. I'm just yeah, I'm delicious, not, though, you know. Not feeling that one. Oops. A little cut out here. I got you. <laughs> uh, what's the Scoville on your hottest? Any idea? Uh, I think the, well, the Carolina, I think it's 2.2 or Scoville units, whatever it is. It's, it's up there. 
Yeah, it, it's up there. But like mm -hmm. it's not gonna not like that death nut challenge where people had like dropping out like flies. Yeah. Don't even. <laughs> don't even, man. That was terrible. When the uh, um Alex almost Alex, died. Oh my, I felt so awful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys have B-dubs? Yeah, man, that, uh, Mr. Votto, that's where we that we go. I've literally gone with Joe, took him to took him to B-dubs. Uh, we brought him to one of our favorite Mexican restaurants, too. Yeah, that place place awesome. What's the, uh, what's the other place? Was it Culver's? Is that the uh, – Oh, yeah, Culver's. Oh, yeah, that place was awesome. The Midwest <laughs> thing. It always – No picks? Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a, a big YouTube channel, uh, Mike something. He's friends with, like, Logan Paul and stuff, and he goes around – uh, eats all these different food places and they're like man people keep telling us we got to go to culver's we yeah go to we don't have that on the east coast here yeah yeah i was just cracking up yeah it's it's good it's quick tomorrow yeah. i told you first thing in the morning we're going to the detroit zoo and near the detroit zoo chipotle <laughs> <That's so cool. laughs> yeah we don't have how one many time, how many times a week do you guys eat mexican what's that how many times? How many times a week do you guys actually? Once, so we do once oh, a once. week on the weekend. Yep, so that'll be tomorrow. Uh, yeah, but uh, oh, oh, a lot, that, of, that, a lot of that's all gluten free, right? Is that that big yeah. part of it too? Did I say Chipotle? Yeah. Oh, d rewind. Take that back. Chipotle's on Sunday. That's why it's oh, on my mind. Tomorrow. All right, read it. Good weekends. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to the Detroit Zoo, and what's by the Detroit Zoo? Chick Fil A. Donald. Yes. So yeah, we got Chick Fil A on Saturday, Chipotle on Sunday. Um, we've had a couple of our favorite Mexican restaurants, and they just haven't been the same since COVID. the The oh, food really? levels have just dropped down. So yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, it's been a bummer. But we love yeah. Mexican food is in our blood. We we really enjoy it. Sam started uh, like Weight Watchers things so yep. she's counting her points. Like man, she's killing me. Like normal stuff. That oh, I yeah. Get. I'm like, hey. Hey, I ain't got any points over here. Don't be don't be tapping into my my food bank. But no, it's probably for the better for me. But yeah, right. Whatever, whatever. And so this is this is where I dispel Weight Watchers. She had, everything has points. She's like, oh man, this is five points. And then she busts out a Diet Coke. I was like, how many points is that? <laughs> Zero. Bull. Come on. There's no there's no calories and sugar. I'm like, no, nah, your body yeah. doesn't work that way. You're it, that stuff translates. Get out of here. I said, I'm imposing five points on your yeah, right? Diet Coke. It's a tax. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know? it's the, the Diet Coke tax. So yeah, there's uh there's no no doubt on that one. That always cracked me up. I can have I can have Diet Coke. No, you can't. That, that stuff's not free. <clears throat> uh, Dan Chipotle, our online order and pickup only. I checked. I called them today, Pete. So they were they were in dining for for our place. So oh yeah, hey Iris, that's if you were to pull Sam and say what food does Dan get the oh, most? That one out here. It's uh, Qdoba, number one by far. No kidding. Three cheese nachos, chips on the side, a little bit of brown rice, a little Is bit it of like a beans. Chipotle or like a yeah, it's just like Chipotle, like a fast casual. Yeah, so, yeah. I uh I love 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 Qdoba. It's like real food, and they have two quesos. They got a like a normal queso, and then they got a uh, really hot queso, a really spicy one. Dude, so good! Oh, really? So, yeah. That's awesome. Steak, three cheese nachos. Got it. Got to crush it. So, <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it. Stop your heart. Yeah, Jason. It's not so much about a diet. It's just so uh, the the biggest thing with Weight Watchers and for her is just being conscious of what you're eating, right? Most people like myself, we just we just smash, we just throw food in your mouth. And uh, the Weight Watchers is you can eat everything that you normally do. It's just about portion control. It's just about uh, knowing what you're doing. And things like veggies and fruits are are uh, zero points. Yeah, Diablo, Andrew. I love the Diablo one. Oh, Moe's. Do you guys have Moe's? Oh, yeah, Moe's, yeah. Yep. Moe's is so good. Their salsa. I think, uh, what's that? Mark, a couple guys in there about New Haven Pizza. <clears throat> I don't know New that. Connecticut Pizza. Ooh, pizza capital of the world right there. Yeah? We used to go to Modern. Well, Pepe's is a you know staple, but um, Modern Pizza, we used to go there all the time. I used to live in New Haven as a kid. Holy smokes. <clears throat> See, I'm not yeah, anywhere on that. Pizza is amazing. I'm not anywhere on that pizza radar because of the oh. gluten, you know? Yeah, that thing. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't really. Th I don't think Michigan has any like signature pizza. I guess. Do you guys have Jets out there? No, I don't think so. So we, anybody in the chat, know Jets? It's like our deep dish pizza like around here, and everybody loves, uh, yes. loves Jets. Type of Jets. 
this this shark fellow says that somebody say mo no he said mo's plural mo you what's up to, mo? how you doing buddy yeah, you gotta get a friend and then you can be mo's <laughs> All right. How about we kick it off? Do you want to uh, announce? What do you want oh, to do? The top, uh, 14 or 11? Where do you want to throw? What's that? I was Let's start getting some announcements here. You want to do because we're going to work our way to the number one, guys. So do you want to start with the top 14, the top 11? Let's do uh, maybe we'll do like the top 11 and leaves a little suspense in the um, the top ones. I'm going to refresh the poll, but that list I gave you should be good. Yep. Um. And I have to say to everyone, like, I can't thank you enough for participating and like making this whole thing happen. I didn't realize how hard it was going to be again. I mean, once I mean, when we both started this, what, two years ago, yep. the whole Citrafella contest and that was tough. But now with so much more, I guess, audience, if you will, and, you know, customers and it makes it tough to kind of narrow down like the set names are absolutely amazing. And I feel awful too, in a way, because it's like, I'm like, I didn't realize when I, I'm like, I have to kind of narrow it down to, you know, it's supposed to be 10, but I think I put up to like 15. I'm like, yeah, felt bad having it because there's some amazing names in there. I'm like, it just either didn't fit or these ones are just a little bit more. I think it's more fitting for the company. And so that's, that's how we went about picking out the names for the, the voting poll, if you will. So. But yeah. no, first, just thank you guys because you guys are absolutely amazing. And if you, you named it, it chosen, it was nothing personal because what I did was I took all the names without the usernames from YouTube and I put them in a list and I sat down and went through and tried to make it as fair as possible to narrow it down to that 15. So, but no, thank you guys. You, you guys are amazing to make this happen. So, but yeah, I say let's do the, um, let's do 11 and just leave okay. a few in there for the, uh, the end there. Okay, so we'll do, I'll announce 11 through, because it's uh, the top four have different prizes, right? So three runner-ups from the top? Yep. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so we'll announce, right now I'll do 11 through five, and then the top four will be will be announced afterwards. So 11 through five, these guys won a $25 gift card. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So 11 through 5, guys, congratulations. You'll get a $25 gift card. Um, I'm assuming they should send you an email. You know, um, as you go, what I'll do is, yeah, have them contact me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, then just uh, sales at Beard Octane. Send an email, and I'll keep I'll keep track right here. Okay, so let me do uh, <laughs> contact Beard Octane on IG. Or email, and that's sales at beardoctane.com. Yep. Okay. I'll scroll that across the bottom so people can get that on IG or email sales. Okay. So this is $25. And again, guys, if you weren't entered, um, probably just a little bit after this, we'll do, do some random giveaways as well for you guys coming out in the, the chat. And we'll, we'll have as much time as we need. We're pretty much untapped. So if you guys have questions for, for Joe, yeah, feel free, uh, please. Yeah, uh, well, he'll be happy to answer. You got him available. It's a rare sighting, rare sighting. Yeah, we plans. I'm gonna try uh, to make it more often, guys. Trust yeah, me. we had plans, uh, COVID plans that got broken up. I was supposed to go out there actually. What month was that? April or uh, it was uh, actually uh, May, May got, that pushed to next May, that whole thing, okay. but yeah, yeah, that, I forgot about that. yeah, May. Uh, Keep that in mind. Okay. So number 11, the first the first runner-up, and we're working our way back. And again, guys, if your name's not announced now, maybe you are in the top four. Number 11 was Zen by Robert Martin. Zen by Robert Martin. So great name. Congratulations. I do think it has some like Zen-like vibes to it with how like smooth and calm it is. That one's amazing. So you've won uh, a $25 gift card. Number 10 is Vintage by Beard Swag, Mr. Michael Cribs in the building. Cribs, that was a that was a cool name. It was yeah. it was very fitting. And when you first you were one of the first people that posted that, and I was like, it, uh, it was just classic. That would have been a cool name for a uh, not to say it won't get used in a future, but that was just a cool fitting for the company. Yeah, yeah and, and I love the names that echoed the scent, but yeah. also were on brand, which was really cool. So awesome one there. And uh don't know where is this at? Uh, yeah, uh, Wednesdays, guys. If you don't know or tune in, we started a new segment called the Beard Advice Series. 
I I haven't had a like natural high like that. I don't know the last time that's that was cool. But, the format and everything that was phenomenal, man. I yeah, I wanted, like toot our own horns, but I don't know if there's a better pair to do that than the mayor and myself, just because of our teacher background. So we know that kind of handle that was also the honestly like the feedback from the from you guys from like the viewers and stuff like that. Yeah. Like the feedback that came in, there was some really awesome comments that was like. I was yeah. blown away. Yeah, like, that is what made it special. And I'm like, yeah, holy yeah. crap. I did not think of that. It was so cool. I, I literally had goof bu- goosebumps after yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was awesome. Yeah, guys, Wednesday nights, tune into there. All right, so that was number 10. Number nine is Redlined by Beard Bushido. Awesome. Another awesome one. Yeah. And kind of on brand. I like yep. that one. Uh for for matching beard octane uh, that's definitely went with it and again if you guys hear your name right now contact joe uh scrolling down below uh for your 25 dollar gift card uh the next one is cruise by steve meritic steve meritic a tree stand somewhere i think i saw him in there before but i think steve's out there awesome yeah and that's another good good one again uh the next one i know he is camping right now so he's probably not in here is number seven is brisk by one of my best friends joel hammond congrats that, joel joel's beard is beast he's a model man he's a yeah I, honestly, <laughs> the glamour shots i think yeah. it's beast yeah it helps that his wife is a hairstylist she, oh really yeah oh that so makes that sense out. she's actually yeah. sam's hairstylist sam, yeah. sam goes for cuts and dyes and stuff yeah and she, nice. ain't, she ain't cheap so i know she does a good job yeah hey yeah, okay to play. Oh, hey, and we got uh, the misses in the building. Very cool. Steve's wife. Sarah, you, you guys go check out her Instagram. They they make amazing candles. Sarah, amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, they're in Ledger. They're local to me. Yeah, they they do some amazing candles. Really, I didn't know yep, that. Awesome. Absolutely. Check that out. I know yep. Steve. I, I see him Steve all. The models time. them. He walks around the all the thing. You know. That, that's what so, sells it. No, absolutely. For sure, yeah. Right, definitely. So number seven is is brisk by by Joel, and then uh, number six, and I'll post these these on Instagram afterwards, guys. Just so anybody's not here, so they'll know. Uh, uh, Joe is the man. I reached out last week by my brush and helped me out. Very cool. All right, number six is top down by Road King Rider thirteen. Yeah, that was the username. I didn't, you know, I mean, I, I missed his name on there, but. <clears throat> Yeah, that way. <laughs> uh, and we do have Bearded Bushido in here as well. Very cool. So top down. And then number five, this is the last one in the $25 gift card range. Number five is Cruise Control by Jesse P. Cruise Control by Jesse P. Congratulations, Jesse. Congrats, guys. You guys all got $25 gift card. If you need any help uh, picking things out, let the chat know. If, let me know. If you guys I- reach out to me, just make uh, – I need your email address. Because I'll be digital through your email, the gift card. So that's make sure you just include that. Perfect. <clears throat> and so we have four more people that will all still win these these rewards stack as you guys go through. Uh, so the the top, the next ones would be the the three runner ups. They are going to receive uh, a set name and ent- the set name entries will receive a beard octane gift box set in addition to the twenty five. And the box set, correct me if I'm wrong here, Joe, is oil balm brush and wash well we can customize it okay. um let's do oil bomb butter even brush. better yeah that works yeah let's do that okay and we'll get to those ones those ones in a little bit here but yeah man awesome names like i said i i love how these just how smart these people are and creative where it was on brand they took a look at what you had but yeah. then all so it, it mimics the the scent. I mean, what's your take? How would you, if you had to describe this to someone that was like beard products, what the heck is a beard product? And they're like, what's that one smell like? How would you describe it to them? Well, just trying to explain like vetiver alone to somebody. Yeah. You know, let, let alone say it is, you know, hard enough, you know? <laughs> yeah. It, it, exactly. Um, I'm, a, I'm personally just a big fan always of like patchouli. There's a lot of it in like a lot of my products, I should say, with that s- strong sweet like musky smell to it. it's like a good staple like in the background so yep. that with the the lemongrass to kind of freshen it up a little bit and especially when that mint in there to make it that mm. light i this is probably my the biggest scent that i was the most nervous about 
you know, when I sent it to you and a couple of, a bunch of other guys, Kyle, Joe, a bunch of guys I sent it to that, that helped me out with it. But, um, it, it was probably the toughest one just cause it was a little bit out of my, my wheelhouse, if you will, my comfort zone. Um, it's definitely, you know, cause I usually like the, the warmer, deeper sense. And then, you know, then you got your citrus and, you know, like ginger jamborine and stuff like that. But yeah, that was, I was probably the most nervous about this one to, you know, oh, yeah, we love it. But the, the feedback on it has been incredible. Cause we, yeah. uh, you sent out like eight samples, yep. brought it to the moderator meetup, which was perfect. So we had like seven guys to smell it that have all smelled thousands of products. And that one was clear head and shoulders was amazing. And especially yeah. the mint in there. It's just, just beautiful. It's just such a nice, like earthy, refreshing type scent. Yeah. Really good. You don't expect it. It's just, right. it, and trying to explain that scent to somebody is it's tough. You know, that's why like we did the Citrafel, we didn't do a like a pre-sale or we just base it off the ingredients. So the the luck that we had to come up with a name like that that was fitting was pretty awesome. But with this, you know, you guys actually got to get it, you know, put it in beard, smell and stuff like that. But to actually have some feedback from you guys before doing this or coming up with like a permanent scent name was that was a cool experience. So, For sure. Yeah. And we will probably mention some honorable mentions at the end, but we still have <clears throat> the uh, top four that are out there. So I don't want to say honorable mentions yet because uh, we still have everybody that's thinking they have won it. So we want to keep everybody kind of on the, the edge of their keep seat. Them guessing. Yeah, keep them guessing out there. So speaking of scent profiles, is there is there a profile out there that, again, would not be in your wheelhouse that you've not created, but maybe there's been a demand for it. Maybe there's been one you've been looking into because, uh, again, you, it just isn't your personal preference, but you're like, at some point, I got to get this. Yeah, I get asked quite a bit for coffee, quite a bit. Um, me personally, I mean, that's, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. There's some stuff that I offer that I'm like, okay, it's not my favorite, but it's you know a lot of other people's favorites. So mm -hmm. coffee, we get asked for quite a bit. Um, other tobacco, like a like bourbons, whiskeys, those type of like, you know, those type of scents. Um, but the the citrus and like the the mint. And ginger scents have been like really popular lately because oh. you know, they want the kind of like a spinoff of like the citrafel, the ginger jamboree and stuff yep. like that, you know? So, yeah, I don't blame them. And, uh, <clears throat> and guys, Joe's always working on stuff. A couple of those profiles he's mentioned, I have tested from him that he's actually had. So these are, they're things that he's, he's literally made. I, I know at least a couple of those one, uh, for sure. I remember testing in uh, one that you had worked on. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's like you said, always I got something going on at all times, whether it's scents or products or and there's stuff that I was getting getting excuse me, getting ready to release and I just kind of looking long term with the company and where I want to take it, it wasn't fitting. So I I pulled it back. You know, that's yeah. the, the nice thing about it. You can always adjust and adapt and you know, so but now there's there's quite a bit in the works. Like this is just kind of now the the traction is going. So yeah. Awesome. And Scott, hopefully you're reading the comments there. He says, has anybody tried uh, Envy? So Liquid Gold was one of the scents that kind of made Beard Octane put you guys on the map. And um, a little part of that is Sam fell in love with it. It's one of her favorite scents of all time. Uh, Envy has passed Liquid Gold in her requests. <laughs> but she asked for a scent. And we have a date night. There's only a couple she goes to, and Envy is one. Liquid Gold is still one that that will forever yeah. be in her heart. But That's Envy stupid. is a passion of hers. She absolutely loves it. Um, Matthew said it was blessed by the bearded gods. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for that scent. Yeah, uh, that took a Cam, long time. That one's awesome. Yeah, happy early birthday, Kim. That's awesome, man. Happy birthday, Kim. Yeah, it's good to have a uh, a weekend scent out there. Um, and we got a lot of comments coming in about scents. Let's go ahead and just roll with that, guys. What is your favorite beard octane scent? Uh, throw it out there. Gabriel says Envy's his girlfriend's favorite as well. Uh, for me, it's no secret. Everybody knows this. Uh, my favorite scent from beard octane is actually my favorite scent of all time. Uh, it's probably my most worn product of all time, and that is uh, Ginger Jamboree. Um, bias. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. That's, that's my middle name, I guess. <laughs> Good reason. Bias command. So uh, DBC. But it's uh, it's it is the best. I mean, I probably have twelve different. You can wear it anytime for any occasion. That's what's nice about it, and it's yes. like it's fresh and it's light, and it it doesn't weigh it down. It I don't know. It's just refreshing. Yeah. 
It's yeah. and I love all things refreshing. Like yeah. I just that that's my profile. I can literally wear it to bed. I can wear it to school. I can wear it out to the zoo. I love it. I love yeah. it. The only time I avoid it is that like an apple orchard or somewhere where I know there's going to be a lot of bees because it's so sweet. I'm like, yeah, I probably shouldn't wear that around some bees. Yeah, right. So, yeah, and in in the mystery set, man, the mystery set literally yeah. is up there. It is. A lot of people ask me that that that's their favorite scent. Like, yeah, either of all time or just uh, from my lineup. Yeah. You know, which I was really like taken back. I was like, all right, we got something here. For you know, sure. it, it's a big deal, especially as you grow as a company to put something out there. And yes, you don't know. It could fall flat on its face. And, you know, there's some stuff I make start to weave out of our lineup to bring new stuff in. Um, but, yeah, it's a it's a it, it's not so scary, but it, yeah, it's a big thing to put it out there you know you hope everyone likes it but the, the feedback that we got on it is absolutely amazing yeah and uh <clears throat> she does right says uh ginger jamboree dan's right that gets the sensation and carbonation i don't know how he did it either most collabs how they work and this is just pulling back the uh the curtain of transparency of normally i'm like hey guys uh yeah let's work together they ask me and i'm like hey i want a little bit of this in there a little bit of this a little bit of this and apparently i'm not the best at that because the collab with Joe was a different way. He sent me out a bunch of them and was like, all right, if you want to work on something, which one do you think? And then we can edit it. We can do this. And I was like, uh, this one. Yep. It was funny at the point when I sent you those and I sent the same ones to, you know, a few other guys. And yep. even those guys were like, let me guess which one Dan picked. Yeah. <laughs> dead, dead nuts. You know, mm -hmm. that's so true. Okay. He is looking for an iced gingerbread scent for the holidays do you do you randomly have any plans for an iced gingerbread scent i no but <laughs> <laughs> i mean the gingerbread scent i mean i don't know do you like gingerbread mm -mm. see i'm like no i know um what's up doug yeah. but that i mean it sounds kind of interesting though yeah uh, the wash should be back very soon, Carlos, within probably the next week or so. Wednesday, Thursday. Once I have like a definite confirmation what day it's hopefully one of those two days it was supposed to be in yesterday. Um, I'll put it back in stock. As soon as it comes in, I'll make it label it and I'll get it out within a day or two tops. Yeah. And he's going to have that for like six months worth. I got, I've, I've seen the pallets, man. That stuff. Yeah, I have probably yeah. over 200 gallons coming. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. You, you just break, because I think, so, I don't know if you heard, but I got a golf cart. Did you? Really? I did. One of my buddies just did, too. His, his wife got it for him. And things, yeah. He, it barely fits in the garage. So mine is a mini. I showed it on a stream, but I'll, I'll have to show is you. It, do you take it with you when you go camping? That's the whole idea, yes. Guess they make like a little hitch for it, like a trailer or something? No, because uh, you can't. So I have to. I have a travel trailer. Yeah. So I can't, oh, right. yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't put two in there truck. again. But... This let me show you here, and it'll uh, kind of blow your mind. And I've wanted a golf <laughs> cart. Was hanging off the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted a golf cart for years now, literally years now. So it's this guy right here. So it's a cricket, and it's a it's normal bad. golf cart. It's just a, a tad bit yeah. smaller. Yeah, three, three stars in that thing. What's that? Yeah, three star rims in that thing. I think sick. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and it's all customized too. It, I, it, I customize every cart. The hood. Ours is going to be all black. Murder. Murder. Oh yeah, we're gonna get like a, a dancy decal right there. It's gonna be so sick. But look at that. So what happens is the part where your feet are, yep, lifts up. The golf cart scrunches together and fits in the back of a pickup truck like what? that. Are you serious? Yes, that's insane. I know. So it'll literally so like fit. All right, I can kind of see it. So the floorboard will flip up, and you're. Yep. yep. And then it goes in there. And then when it's operating, you have the seat back here. We got like a foot bar and a, a handle. <laughs> and it's got a storage rack back there. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to drive it to work if we ever have to go to That's work. Right in the, the, the back here. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So, man, yeah, I'm excited. to get around the uh, campsites and stuff. Yep. And that's the whole idea. <laughs> yeah. Driving around the, the campsites is it's just so far. Quite a bit out it, there for campsites, right? What's that? You guys got quite a bit of good sized campgrounds out there. Yes. Uh, Michigan was uh, was voted the best camping in the country. Okay. No yeah. We got to talk beautiful. once this whole pandemic goes away about doing something like the, uh, if you guys start doing your yeah. country tour. Yeah. The field right next to the house, it's in the family and it's 
we can fit quite a bit out there. That would be, so be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I want to put that th- together. All right. How about we throw a, uh, a random giveaway for the, the bro Ditos in the, in the chat here, this, uh, gift card, $25 gift card. Yeah, the absolutely. All right, guys, we'll do a little giveaway. Just say, thank you for guys coming out, hanging out tonight and, uh, listen to these, these two, uh, grown men talk and Sarah, we'll get them on. Yeah. <laughs> What's he, you gotta get him a, a bowl for the front of that boy. That would yeah, be cool. I think you saw the one I got on the, on the ice cream truck. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm excited to see that. I got to hear about that plan in a sec. It, it's essentially, is it going to be like a food truck festival kind of thing? Did I show you the pictures of it? Yeah. But I mean, is that your goal? For- I'm going to start put, put more pictures up. Yeah. So like, um, so I can't imagine you know, in, the, in the fall, all the fairs and events and stuff like that. But we have a lot of friends in the like restaurant bar industry. So whether we start parking it out there or whatever, my dad just retired he'll probably help out with that as well. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to start taking it to different events across, you know, Connecticut or surrounding states or events or something like that. And it has the ice cream music in it, but it also makes uh, animal sounds. So it makes like the the cow and moo and moos and has chicken sounds <laughs> like the jerky. So we're good. Oh, oh I think sick. My kid yeah, loves gotta, it. You got to take it through some random subdivisions. I'm telling you, I'll drive that thing to Michigan. Yeah, do, oh, we would we would make a killing on that. So <laughs> goodness. Oh man, that would be so fun. Yeah, if yeah, I get a bowl, a bowl on the front of mine and rocking a beef octane hat, forget about it. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, somebody said I've never seen a golf cart mix. That I've never seen a golf me either. And it was I just found it in my research because we we got real serious about golf carts and we we yeah. got one that we were gonna buy and they were like that that can't fit in your in your truck. Oh, I'm telling you, my buddy just got one and he lives in like a subdivision development, kind of like you guys. Yeah. And this thing. He has a two-bay garage. They just built a house. This thing is probably a two-inch clearance to fit into yeah. a regular car garage because it's oh, got yeah. tires. That thing's a beast. Oh, yeah. They're, and then we had one like that was lifted and everything. And yeah. then, like, I just, I don't know why. I just assumed it was going to fit in my truck. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Not at all. So That's crazy. The whole idea is to take it camping. So with it being a little bit smaller and stuff, it, it's, you got to kind of have some, some sacrifices, you know, along the way. So yeah, it's, uh, Man, I'm excited, but it's going to be shipped in a crate. I'm like, I'm going to feel like Joe. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're shipping it from Florida. All right. Well, that makes sense. That's like yeah. the car capital yep. of the world. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. And I think it's in one of the like old timers yeah. community type places. So yeah, we, we literally got to customize it from the seat to the rims. Oh, really? Uh, you saw That's there, cool. I have a uh, the resort top, like the hard top yep. that you see on golf carts added on i got a, a tinted out windshield added on uh we got seat belts on the back for the boys murder it out strap them down safety first so um uh man i'm excited i'm excited awesome. okay let's go ahead and uh let's do this giveaway you guys 25 dollars gift card this is just for being in the stream and uh appreciating you guys appreciate uh beard octane here uh go ahead guys and type in the chat only enter once give me a number zero through 40 go zero through 40 guys good luck this is for a 25 dollars gift card I, <laughs> you would I got it right here <laughs> it's my typical good luck all right i saw a correct number so let me see oh I, there's a couple all right and remember guys it is it is all about oh there's another one. Oh no oh i'm so pumped yeah 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 for the winner, I got we got our three dislikes. Oh yeah, they were early. Yeah, too. I they know. Were, well, of course, I'm here. Yeah, they were real early. I'm like, oh hey, okay, thank you. Oh. I haven't had those numbers lately, so thank you, Joe. Know, right? Bringing that back, yeah. I appreciate it. People have been like way too nice. Those analytics out, appreciate it. <laughs> so there's uh again a few of you got this right. You guys know the deal by now. It's the first one that shows up here. So the fr- the correct number is the number four. Oh, just went away there, but the number right. four. And the winner of this one is Coach Thomas. Coach Thomas, congratulations. Uh, That is uh, number four, number four there. Awesome. Okay. Very cool. All right, all right, all right. Good, good, good there. Good. All right. Uh, Joe, any plans for the weekend? You got to work this weekend or beard stuff? What you got going? Family? Oh, man. This whole week, past actually a couple weeks, um, has been – Nonstop. I was in a rush today. I was supposed to be off today, and then 
something came up in my regular work. So I was there till I think I got home at seven. Oops. All right. Uh, I was there till about seven or so got home, but um, tomorrow during the day, there's a, um, a mystic, which is a, right down the shoreline by us where they have our uh, beef octane. We got to go down there for a couple hours and um, it's kind of like a meet the makers thing. So you go down there and explain the product to the customers coming and stuff like that, hand out samples and stuff like that. So I did that a couple week weekends ago and that was awesome down there. And oh. then and tomorrow afternoon is one of my good buddies. It's, it's his birthday party. And then Sunday we have a farmer's market in town and I'll relax for about three hours and then start over the work week. So, Ooh. Yeah. I got to make a product too this weekend too. So throw nice. that in there. Nice. A couple of late nights. I appreciate that. And guys, yeah, if you have any questions for Joe, go ahead and uh, hit up. We're just kind of hanging out tonight. Going to announce the winners. I'll getting out of stock. I'll put it back. Big right ones. Here. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was just going to highlight that one. Yeah, I just made some, so I know there's some left. All right. Later, Octavio. Awesome. Get some pizza at Mystic Pizza. Yes. yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of those. That, that remember the old movie, Mystic Pizza? Junior oh, Rice. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, look at all the look look butters in stock. We're good. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, that pizza is awesome down there. There's so many cool restaurants down there. Okay, question here from Joseph. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Any plans for a Wasala-inspired scent? Let me uh, Google that real quick. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Huh. Smells like sweet fruits and spices. Huh. I'd be honest with you, I never never I heard of it. Couldn't tell you what it was. I'll to, I'll I mean I'll look into it. My yeah. collection of like fragrances is insane. No. I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, you can't see who does the dislikes on the video. It's uh oh. one of the only like anonymous social media platforms. And uh, yes, Bearded Coba, uh, 20% is for tonight. So uh, it's normally 10%. If you're looking to save a little bit extra, give it a shot. Yeah, I'll keep it up till midnight, unless I forget about it in the morning or so. Yeah, awesome. And uh, Brad, uh, it should be later later this week. So keep an eye an eye out for that one. Uh, but yes, the and I had a couple people asking, the 20% is just tonight. Okay. Uh, Wasail is uh, Christmassy, Doug said. All right. Well, yeah, okay. so the, the spice is like a cinnamon spice or just uh, uh, yeah, clove, apple juice, rum, that, like a clove, clove type. Yeah, no, thank you. I'll pass. I'm, not, I'm personally not a fan of clove, but no, <clears throat> goodness, no. Like said, sometimes you gotta, you know, as a business part, you know, you gotta kind of cater to the, the masses, if you, if you will. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Bearded and winning, what's up, Chris? What is up, my friend? Uh, <laughs> Uh, whoever dislikes the miserable, so yeah, probably phenomenal holiday drink. I've never heard that term in my yeah. entire life. To be honest with you, yeah, I, I've never heard them. Um, I know you haven't tried Mad Viking, but honestly, it's the best stuff on the market. All right, cool. Yeah, I've actually met the owner. I think he's from Michigan. I met him at a beard competition, and some of the like champion dudes were like, I got to introduce you to the Mad Viking champion or to the Mad Viking owner, and he was like, Yeah, hey man, yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen I, I may have seen a video before. I was like, all right, man, keep playing the cool card. Like, <laughs> that's fine. And then uh people were like, he he got really mad at me when I asked him to reach out to you. He was like, We don't we don't pay fees and we don't I'm like, all right, buddy, I I didn't ask you. So oh, yeah, time is yeah. time is money. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, who yeah, hates marketing? I mean Yeah. Whatever works for you. You guys gotta realize how much work goes in behind the scenes just to set up for this stream. Yeah. To buy stuff for the lighting in the background, I wish I could show you guys. But I don't want to mess up my angle here, yep. but the stuff that I got to prepare for tonight to kind of – before I was upstairs in my office where I used to store all my products before things kind of blew up, if you will. Mm -hmm. and I didn't have all this to, to make it the quality that it is yeah. now. But you got to realize how much work and that really goes into it. Yeah. Yeah. It's – uh. Yeah, there and people don't see. It. Especially I mean, I giving like reviews for companies and stuff like that. Like that's a you know. Oh they're, yeah, they're and, and their business with you. And that's not the that's not the common occurrence. Almost every owner knows. Yeah, no, that. yeah, not just. I'm just saying in general. You know. Yep. Yep. So yeah, it's 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 crazy. Yeah, I got light here, 
light here, we got light here, camera, mic, new laptop, which I am loving. So, oh, I got so. lights in the background that aren't even turned on because the lighting was the right, so I had to get different ones. Yep, yep. You know, it's just playing with it. Oh, eggnog scent? That would not be for me either, man. <laughs> I just thought of, uh, what was it Cousin Eddie from uh, Christmas Vacation? Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, no, no, thank you. I, I would not be a fan of that one at all. So, yeah, that's a uh, hard pass on me. I do love the fir tree, though. Fir tree's awesome. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I have it back here. I can't wait to put that. I can't wait to put that, like, on the – it's just so – now, over the two years, you look at like the old label styles and stuff like that, like all printers when the ink used to run when they got wet. Yeah. Like I'm saying you learn as you go, you know, especially in this business, like little little things as you go or just not having the money when you first start out to have your labels printed and stuff like that. I had yeah. label printers and, you know, but I can't wait to put that label on a, a cool metallic like label. So it pops. Yeah. Um, are you big enough to get ad revenue? Yeah. So essentially, if you have a thousand subscribers and so much watch time, you can uh, you get ad revenue. So it's not much, uh, but yeah, definitely. Whoa, Gary, e Lou, what's up, buddy? I I'm sorry about Mr. Thomas, too, guys, because I have like multiple screens going on, and trying to look at the camera at the same time. As I'm still new to this, but oh man, G Lou, thank you, appreciate yeah, it, brother. Thank you. And yeah, I the meat, I can't. I can't say highly enough about this blazing buffalo. It's a chicken jerky, and it's just straight up phenomenal. I love the texture of this one. Yeah, it's not dried out like typical chicken jerky or like poultry and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, and this, I would say, when we were talking about profiles earlier, that was actually what I had in mind um, is, is a straight up like woodsy or wood scent. You don't really have that much in your in your lineup. No, no. Um, it, something like that probably will come. Just that's usually like a typically like popular, you know, scent profile. And that's what I was gonna say. I think you kind of came in to be different, and that yeah. was like what everybody had. Yeah, I mean, I'm right now. I'm around twenty, twenty two different scents, like with the collabs and stuff like that. I don't like to get too. I mean, a it's a lot to keep up with, right. and then just you know. I mean, you look at some of the bigger companies too. Like, I think Beer Brand, how many cents do they have? It's not. They have four gold line, four. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, eight. Not to say that's, you know, that's their style, everything like that, but <clears throat> I'd keep it somewhat contained. I'd rather make something like perfect and, you know, popular and then build off of that than yeah. just like, putting cents out there, you know? Um, I have Biltong all the time. Almost every Wednesday, I have Biltong. I absolutely love it. It's phenomenal. They, we have a brand in a, in, in Walmart, actually, that's really good called Strive. So yeah, I love, love, uh, love that one. And man, Joe, you would think that I talk about your beard wash or something. The the subscriber <laughs> wanted, wanted to know where your beard wash is at. <laughs> I love like the random messages. Like, you ever like take a moment when you got the LCW in and be like, "Holy cow!" <laughs> yeah, you just let it like bubble. Yeah, just let it sit there. <laughs> it's like it's like a spa. Yeah, it really is like a treatment. So I. I love LCW. It's easily my most used wash. Uh, I have loved it for a very, very, very long time. It is, yeah, it, it's phenomenal. <coughs> phenomenal. Oh, and yeah. uh, Gary, speaking of Gary, talking about Gary and Joe, Gary's actually been to that same B dubs as well. And uh, he learned the three button method of, of my ways. <laughs> Got to hit the button three times. Yeah. Marco, oh. uh, custom scent service. No, I, I, at this point, yeah, that's tough to. It, honestly, I just don't. I don't have the time. Th that it comes down to that. I wish I had a better answer for it. It's just trying to keep up with what I have going on right now, and the stuff that I want to put out there. We got some pretty cool stuff coming out, but it's just that's a big undertaking. And, I, and guys who do it, God bless you. You know, that's just a whole. You know, that's a whole different. You know. Yeah, I know it's. Uh, yeah, that's. That's tough, and if it, yeah. uh, if this business ever gets more regulations in the U.S., then that's, that's going to be not. Coming. It'll be gone. Yeah, so you, matter, that's going to come, especially oh, now yeah. the pandemic and stuff like that. They're gonna they're gonna yeah. lock down on that stuff. You they, know, a hundred percent, and it's going to yeah. come to the point where you have to, with every cent you release, you got to get a new IRFA yep. uh, certification on that cent. Make a new batch. You got to. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. So. It definitely is coming. And anytime I see the customs, I'm like, 
Man, yeah. But, but, I mean, yeah. yeah, I respect it, but yep. I, I can't. No way. Yeah. No. So a couple of great questions here is um, a quick one. Pine tar soap. Yes, he sells it. Is it in stock? Yes. Should awesome. be. Yeah. And then I love this question here and I'll kind of morph it into like, uh, what is the state of the business? Where was it at? Where are you going? What have some of the, as far as employees? And I know, I know, but break it down for the people. Yeah. Um, when I started it two years ago, it was just literally me making batches of six oils. That was a batch or eight. <laughs> so that was where, where I kind of started. Now I do a couple of trays of scents. So a batch now is 250. So um, with the whole pandemic, my wife's home now. So now she gets to help me out and help, you know, when I need her. So that's been a big help. Um, we, we have one employee right now. He's kind of part time. So, but with the way things are going, especially rolling into the holidays, we're going to be taking on a couple more. Um, we're just at that point of the filling orders. I look forward to being able to f like fulfill orders. Cause that's, I would say fun, but it's easy, you know, but the product has to be made to fill those orders. So just the, the manufacturing, it takes time and you know, it, it's a lot of work. I mean, you'll, you'll see me post that one in the morning, whipping butter and I gotta get, go to work in the morning, come home and do it all over again. You know? So it's, it's pretty involved, which is a good thing. You know, we're, we're very blessed in that regard. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm, I'm grateful for that from you guys. Like couldn't, you know, put into words, but yeah, yeah no business is growing. Um, Dan knows a couple of things in the works behind the scenes coming up that it's, you know, just dealing with the growth and everything like that. So, uh, the pandemic hit a little bit. Um, fortunately, we still able to, you know, we make soap and everything like that. So we're able to keep going with that. Um, so that definitely helped keep us, you know, keeping us going. So yeah, no, we got a lot planned for the future, especially with growth. So awesome. awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Bluegrass. Uh, so good question here. And I'll, I'll let you handle it, but I, I don't think that's a bad idea. Healthy says, can you put LCW in stock so we can take advantage of the code? Um, I can, but it's not going to ship for a week. <clears throat> so that's the thing. Um, I mean, uh, if you guys want me to put it in stock, I'll put it in stock. But that's the only thing. It's, it's not going to it's not going to ship for a week. Your order. Yeah, maybe take it down in the morning. So yeah, new I'll do I'll do it for the stream tonight. That way, there's a couple in there. I, I can uh, sort yeah. it out. Great um, idea, healthy dude. We'll do that. And then I saw a. Uh, question here for me does uh beard oil moisturize your elbow seriously though yes absolutely beard. Ooh, i think i rubbed a bunch in tonight <laughs> yeah 100 uh, percent. that's where i put it first after yeah. i have products it goes to my elbows and yep. my love handles and all that stuff with the butter and stuff like that throw that yeah. right in there, you know <laughs> so <clears throat> you can go ahead and tell them about you acquiring peak and then hiring joe full-time <laughs> what's that <laughs> joe said you're gonna buy the company and hire him i can't afford peak <laughs> uh a great question by by uh justin here and i know you're popping in the 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 lcw stock so feel free to answer how you can but uh what were your first few cents the first few cents was um there's an old school one we had that freedom scent that is no longer there um that that name itself is probably gonna come back into something i got something that works for that it's gonna be pretty cool not <clears throat> The packaging of it and the the scent profile, we're pretty close to nailing that down. If I can get that to work, but we also have something that's going to be pretty amazing that's going to come with it. Um, can't get into that right now because we have a couple of things with some organizations that we're working with on that. But that's going to be a pretty cool thing to take on. Um, cool. So starting out was always like the staples, like barbershop, downshift, um, mechanic. That was an original one. Last call. That's been there. Karma, that was a Texas T rodeo. Those are like the staples when I first started. And those yep. those are full sleepers to this day. Um yep. I would say, yeah, the, I probably had like 12 to start right in there. So and then just yeah. from there as time went by. Um, what is uh what's your dream car since you got a, a car themed company? Cars. Oh man, I got everything from an old Skyline GT 34R to old muscle cars. I'm I'm all over the place with that. I'm a I'm a pretty big car guy with that. Um, I was involved quite a bit with like the European, like um, Japanese cars for quite a bit. Um, that was one of my old businesses. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I used to do a lot of Subaru stuff. Or Beard Octane, right? 
Before that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably one of the biggest growing companies out there still. Yeah, just yeah. me and the, the current owner, we kind of grew it together and had a little difference in opinion and parted ways and life goes yeah. on, you know? So, um, uh, I believe yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's that? No here, but uh, any plans for a CBD? Um, hmm, that's a good question. That was uh, kind of one of the things I mentioned before, just a direction where I'm taking the company. Um, that was already set and good to go. And I think at this time, I'm probably going to hold off for a little bit. Just I'm going to go a different different route, I think. So not not currently. I'll just say that. So Awesome. awesome. I'm planning on getting some ginger jamboree that Dan has been promoting as top set. Hey, I've, I haven't been promoting it. I've just been speaking about it, man. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, good question here from Martin. What is your most popular scent that people buy at Beard Octane? Oh, all of them. Um, probably <laughs> uh, the, the top one's always uh, uh, Ginger Jamboree, Liquid Gold, uh, MV, Downshift. Apple Pie has been, I mean, it's fall too, though. That's been like crazy lately. Um, Texas Tea Rodeo, Citrafella, always. I, there's a few that I can say that you know aren't as popular as the other ones, but usually it's a great. I mean, one day is one scent, another day is a different scent. Yeah. You know? Yep. It so, varies. We announced the uh, runner-ups eleven through five. We're gonna do the next couple in just a, a second here, <clears throat> and then uh, we will kind of go from there. Uh, what's your current scent creation like do you mix it he's asking bill asks are you mixing it up with uh in your kitchen oil and bowl or uh what do you got going on for your current creation for making sense yeah in the, in the shop i'll i have like the broken down sense of like patchouli and you know frankincense to whatever i probably have just, except for that one we never heard of before earlier but um <laughs> yeah, yeah i still haven't yeah nope. um yeah no it, a lot of it's just playing off base, uh, base notes when i first started a lot of it was just going online and looking at recipes and then you kind of self-teach yourself and what works and sometimes there's sense by accident to be honest with you, you yeah know, you get a different scent you like you know and it's weird because sometimes what smells good in bottle is completely different once you get it into your beard or on your skin so the you know there's a whole process to it. So yeah. Uh Dan, which one did Joe put in stock for the stream? LCW. So LCW. I put down uh downshift neutral and citrafella. That's right behind my camera right here. All right, they're gonna be back in stock now. Awesome. So again, guys, tonight is Dan C10 equals 20% off. So do still do that, and it will be at least a week or about a week. Until yeah, it was supposed to be in yesterday, but because of the I guess the pandemic with freight right now, it just it got delayed. Oh, they said a week, so I'm hoping Wednesday, Thursday, or so we'll have that. All right, let's say the the company gets bought out, great deal. You live your best life in retirement, and you only get to keep one cent for the rest of your bearded life. What are you keeping? Oh man, can I take two? <laughs> He had for one. He he killed some a bear in that picture. So you gotta listen to him. Yeah, yeah right. Um, I photoshopped him in there. Um, <laughs> his wife got it for him. <laughs> um, it's gonna be between envy and uh, ginger jamboree. Those are my, two. my top two as well. You know, to be honest with you, that that's tough. Yep. I don't know, but this new scent is. Yeah. You know that's been on me too. It's an everyday one too. That's tough. I'm going to grab a, another drink here. And Ryan wants to know, how do you get your inspiration for scents? What, what's your thought process? Um, A lot of it's like the street. I mean, to be honest with you, like watching a lot of streams too, seeing what other guys are doing. Other, You know, you kind of get a little spin off or takes and stuff. And a lot of it too is personal preference. You know, I'll make something, test it out, and I'll send some tests out to some guys and I'll get feedback on it. Hey, tweak it this way, tweak it that way. Um, It's just honestly just... I got some downtime. I'm going to start working on some uh, different scents. Now I'll start goofing around some, you know, different, you know, combinations and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we, whatever smells good. You yeah. Because you got to look at it too. Something may smell good, but then can you have it in your beard for six to eight hours in your face? Because I think yeah. a couple of scents I sent you for testers, Dan, some would smell amazing, but there's even like one or two. It was like, 
all right, hour three, I'm like, all right, I can't. It's a little, either too strong or I cut it back or, you know, so, I mean, you're putting stuff on people's faces. So, right. you know. Right. Uh, so, Mac, the contest was purchasing a bottle of the mystery scent, and then you were supposed supposed to have commented your scent name <clears throat> back on the live stream. And then Joe put up a poll on his uh, website, and we're going to announce the, the winners today. We did do a random giveaway on the stream already, but that's how this, this contest uh, has been going down. And uh, what would you drink, Dan, if they didn't have Mountain Dew? I'd probably go with Mellow Yellow. It's a, it's a close. Yellow. Oh, yeah. It's a close. I, we saw a surge at the store yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you, you tried the uh, the Mountain Dew, the game fuel? Yes. You like it? I do like it. I can't say, I like, yeah, I like that. I like, I like that, too. Yeah. yeah. All right, here's a good question for you to take. Uh, how do I use my beard bucks? Um, well, for for now, bottom right corner of the website, click on the pop up for the uh, reward points, and it's going to tell you exactly how to redeem them. Um, that's a a big thing that's coming up. I got to put together like announcements stuff like that. But I have a meeting on Monday about it. <clears throat> we have a whole new revamped uh, rewards program that's going to be getting released, and there's a couple of little kinks in the one we have going on. You're not going to lose. From what I'm told, we're not going to lose any points or all that stuff's going to carry over. So don't worry about that. Um, but just a lot more ways to earn money back, store credit, stuff like that. It's going to be a lot more giving, if you will. So pretty pumped about that because there's another angle that ties into it, which I'll be able to announce soon. But yeah, so cool. but for now, yeah, bottom right corner, click on the, the pop up for that and you're good to go. Now, with making sense, is that something that you worked at and improved, or is it just talent and something that you you hit off the bat to start? I've made some pretty awful sense before. <laughs> Trust me. I have bottles and bottles and bottles in my shop right now that are just – it just reminds me where I came from, <laughs> you know, just to put it that way. it Not everyone's a hit. You know, you ask anyone who's making stuff out there, it's going to take you 20 something different combinations to finally, you know, get close to something that you want to do. And then you got to fine tune it, tweak it. And the testing that goes into it, it's not like it, Oh, this smells good. Throw in a bottle and, and send it out. You know, especially coming from a company, you got to appeal to the masses and make sure that's, you know, a, it's not going to hurt someone. And, you know, with your scent level, your strength levels and all that stuff. So there's quite a bit that goes into it, you know? Yeah. And I just finished this bag of blazing Buffalo guys. Yeah. It's, Stuff is phenomenal, phenomenal. And I'm gonna be, I'm going into jerky number three here. I'm going into Matador. I that up. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's so good. So I haven't seen the Cheetos flavor. That's insane. Yeah, and it, it gives it a little, a little pop, but it's, it's yeah. nice. I really enjoy it. Uh, what about a toasted marshmallow scent? Uh, Detroit Grooming has yeah, a good one. Have that. 313. If you try that out, it smells like their conditioner. That's another thing, too. You have all these amazing companies out there. Exactly. Stuff. Yep. To, you know, I like to think that my scents are a little bit different than, you know, with my take on it compared to other companies. And they have their reasoning and their style. Yep. So, and they make so many, I mean, Fable has, oh, 34. He has so many scents. So it's kind of like you see the, and then you have all these other companies are putting scents and scents out. And you're like, okay, well, there goes that idea. You know, right. you, you keep yourself different. I mean, there's that too, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think you're, yeah, you're right on it there. All right, let's go ahead and announce the next, the next three. So this will be the three runner-ups, guys. We're gonna save the winner for a little bit longer. So if you haven't heard your name yet, it might be you. But these are gonna be the the three runner-ups. Okay, so it'll be number four, three, and two. And these guys are going to receive the $25 gift card, but they're also going to receive a beard box gift set that includes oil, butter, and oil, butter, brush. And balm. And balm. Yeah, you're yeah, going to receive the box. Yeah, we did the three and then the um, the brush. Okay. Oil, they're going to come in like a cool gift box with a magnetic uh, closing. Uh, yeah. Glass. That stuff so yeah it's pretty cool here <clears throat> all right so 
These are the three runner-ups, and again, the winner's not going to be announced. So if you don't hear your name, don't be like, ah, because the big one is still going to be out there, okay? Two in the morning, so you're stuck here. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave you hanging. All right. The next one is, uh, and this would be for number number four, the fourth winner here. And again, twenty five dollar gift card plus that that uh, beard box. The set name is Intake by Pete White. Intake by Pete White. Pete. Congratulations. Yeah, love Pete. That was a good. That was a good one. That's a really good one. Again, and fitting, but also. Kind of the mintiness gives you like that intake. And that's kind of what what I feel on that one. So yep. uh, congratulations. Steve said I thought that one was going to be a winner. Yeah, and this is this was straight up uh, by the poll on Joe's website. And all of these are phenomenal. I will say the one that I, without looking at any names or anything, the one that I liked the most did win. And, and I, I did like that one. Uh, and, and yeah, we'll see. It's going to be pretty, pretty fun to, to go through. And I know Pete was in here. Oh, there he is. Cool. Pete's got to be in there. Yeah, he's in here. So Pete, congratulations. Get a hold of Joe. All right. Number four, number four here. This one is <sighs> Maverick by Marco Diaz. Maverick by Marco Diaz. Congratulations, Marco. T almost got it. What's that? Oh, Marco from Area Code 203 in Connecticut. Yeah, he was up there. Oh, was he up by you? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good dude. I talk to yeah. Marco and see him all the time. Uh, Marco, are you in here, man? Congratulations. It was. Let's was talk about pizza before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that one again was Intake. Or no, Intake was Pete, and then yep. uh, Maverick was Marco. Again, it's a $25 gift card plus – oh, there's Marco. There he is. Great beard too. Great, great yeah, beard. Just, He's been. Uh, right. It's it's this Marco. Yeah, yeah, great yeah. Video too. Doing it on Instagram, doing unboxings and all this stuff. Yeah, videos high quality. I mean, great content. Yep, great beard, great personality. All right, and number two, the first runner up again, getting a twenty five dollar beard octane gift card plus the beard box here. Whew. Again, like tingles on it here, trying to get to this top one because this is cool. Like. Naming yeah. the scent, getting your name on the bottle. I mean, the prizes are sweet, but that, this is a cool process. Uh, something that you and then a little bit I started with Citrafella. Like it, it's, it's it hard. To cool. I think you you called it that. It was almost two years, like to, to the like, week at that contest. Yeah, yeah. and uh, at us now. Yeah, it's just yeah. Oh yeah, you might have had an issue with uh, with copyright with Maverick. <laughs> well, there was a there was a few, and that. Too was a few things that either other companies had the scent name. Yep. Or it was just one of those words or names that was probably going to cause issues because of copyright or right. that Logan type of stuff too. Because there were some really good ones in there. And I was like, uh, that you can't, you know. Yeah. And I did see a couple that were good names, but were taken by other companies already and like well known. It wasn't like, uh, a little discreet one. So yeah, that's tough, but that's, you know, kind of part of the due diligence out yep. there. But, yeah. You probably could have go, got away with Maverick, but uh, so Maverick. All right. Number two guys, number two <sighs> runner up. We're not saying the number one yet. So there's still people thinking they're in it and, and they got it here. Number two is carbon fields by bluegrass bearded, AKA Ken. Ken. Congratulations, close, Ken. Buddy. Yeah. For you. Yeah. That was it fitting. Was close until about yesterday and today, and then, yeah, I would then say this more, last night he was. I think he was well ahead, and then, uh, yeah, yep. It, this morning, kind of, the tide changed. And again, that's a really good one. That's on brand and, and everything. So awesome, Ken! I'm excited to hear what you pick out for your gift card and box that that goes with it. Ken just went. I think he. Uh, He's got a gift card. Was it from your stream? Or no, no, another stream. He just got another uh, gift card. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to say, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. So we, the winner is still out there, guys. The winner is still out there. And I will say, the winner is in the chat right now. Ooh. So they are here. If your are name they? is still in it. Is it he or she? 
No one they. knows. Yes, they. I'm uh I'm I'm not I'm not big into no, <laughs> <laughs> my my teacher training's coming yeah. out. Yep. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to to announce the winner. It's gonna be pretty cool. So what's the yeah. process like now? You you got to get the name. You got to get the label. How how far are we looking out? What's what's the deal from here? Um, honestly, uh, let me ask you guys. You guys want to see in a bomb and butter for the new scent? For sure, butter. It, it's a such a nice calming scent, like smooth. I don't know. I, I would say it's calming too. That earthiness is calming about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So. Sounds like everyone's definitely gonna want the but I mean the, the bomb is pretty easy. That's probably the easiest thing to make besides the oil, but yeah. Um yeah, so we'll definitely do probably the, the three. And then uh honestly, it's um I just gotta figure out if I'm gonna do something <clears throat> different with the, the label or if I'm gonna keep like the same like profile with like the the beer logo and stuff and just kind of like sit for fellow or something like that. So I, I just gotta figure that out. But once I do that within I would say a week to two top. The only thing I would slow up the process is making the butter because that that's a couple of day process and just fitting in with the schedule right now. And you're making your own labels? No, I, I no, I outsource them now. Now before I bought those label makers and stuff like that, but then yeah. I was going into the issues where like um, Citrafella, the LCW, whatever in the shower, the ink would run off. So, so that, how long do labels take? Uh, turnaround time within a week. Mm. Yeah, I, I, once I just design it, send it out, and uh, they make they usually print three to four days and two days shipping. So oh, yeah, not bad. We, yeah, no, it's not bad at all. And I probably said it thirty four times on the pitch stream, but I forget the exact details right now. Do you remember the profile on the mystery set? Yeah, it's uh, vetiver, uh, mint, <clears throat> lemongrass, leather, and uh, patchouli. Mm. <clears throat> but they blend so well together. Yeah, so I was worried at first I put when I first started messing with it, the leather was very pronounced. So I had to scale that back. And then uh the lemongrass wasn't enough. That was the other big thing. Then once I got it dialed in, it was good. Yeah. Oh uh, fit and flex. Most guys would kind of unanimously agree for longer beards, you go butter for shorter beards that need a little more styling and control. Oh. Uh you go with ball oh, for shorter beards. Yep. Marco said he was between Maverick and another one, and the other one was Torque. Oh. Good. I don't do well with Qs, though, so you would have lost. I can't say or Torque. T-O-R-K. T-O-R-K. Oh, I could do that. Torque. That would work. But, yeah, Torque. That's pretty good artwork for that. Um, yeah. yeah, Torque would have been. Wow, well, Marco, you, you know. Hey, he, yeah. he, he threw the dice. Not that one. So have you have you heard this story? It's from Connecticut, actually. You guys and you you know really well. And hey, I bet you you have. What's that? You know the story why in Connecticut they tell guys that work at casinos why they can't grow their beard past a certain length. Tell me you've heard this. I've heard it in the last like month by several people. Maybe they're just thinking of like a sanitation, like for, for is re, related to COVID. No, no. So I that's my I should probably not do story because again, on separate occasions, really, I had different people tell me this. It was on the news. No, just in streams and, and talking to guys. Huh. So I guess the idea is hiding cards and stuff. No, not hiding stuff. They said, and this was coming from a boss. Like you got to be able to keep your beard short. It was on craps, and they keep telling the story that a guy threw the dice and or die, whatever, I don't care. Throw threw the die and it bounced up and went into the, the guy's beard and I got, him a drink. Got, got stuck in his that's, beard. That's a real beard. What's up? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way. Like, I have a pretty big beard. There's no die that's gonna get stuck in my beard. No, I don't were they saying that for dealers or for Patriots. dealers, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't heard that, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, and because I, I had okay, said that, well, or a guy well, told me. Your beer got caught in the uh, roulette wheel, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so they can get like two inches from the bottom lip or something, some rule like that. 
Because you're you're by what the Mohegan Sun is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah, both of them. What's Fox, the other? No, Mohegan, closer to Mohegan, but what's the other uh, place? Uh, Foxwoods. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Yep, that was actually what's, there first, I believe. Uh, gambling sure. like there is it uh, is it free alcohol like Vegas? Yeah, if you're gambling um, on the the gambling floor and stuff like that, yeah, it's uh, free drinks. Yeah, so Michigan's not. You get like oh. pop. Oh, really? Yeah. Our Native American casinos, you can still yeah. smoke in. <laughs> Pop, P O P. But uh, our the Native American casinos, you can still smoke inside. Yeah, they can do that here. They oh. made like non-smoking sections, but it is it is disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Um, yeah, yes, there is a discount. The discount for my, uh, for me with Beard Octane is always Dan C10, but tonight and tonight only, it is 20% off. So Dan C10 will get you 20% off. So, yes. Uh, so give it a look, guys. If you have any questions, I'm, I usually answer 20 to 30 Beard Octane questions a day. So I'm used to it. So, uh, get a hold of me anytime. Joe says he, he doesn't, he's got a part time employee. Well, he, he's got a full time one here. I'm always, I'm always working that. I'm still waiting for that. Yeah, to the support you guys give me is absolutely, truly grateful. Seriously. Hey, you you know right back at you. Yeah. Right back at you. Yeah, it's and then that's – I've said this to multiple people. We kind of – you and I talked about uh, like the start. We started within a month of each other of actually launching the company and channel. And yep. – uh, <laughs> Joe made my what my original top 10 list before I even reviewed his products. I was just like blown away. It was just amazing. And we kind of uh, grew together as the channel got bigger, his company yeah. got bigger. And um, obviously we, we had our own reasons and our own abilities for doing that, but we yeah. definitely crossed and, and helped each other out on both avenues and any like new content creator. That's why I've always had my advice is, is find companies you love and grow with them. Don't don't try to latch on to these other ones that already have well established relationships and are already growing and stuff. Grow with them, and there, there's nothing more satisfying and nothing more like real. You know, there's nothing more intertwined. Yeah, I mean, you get you you got to believe in what you're what you're preaching to other people, especially if you're a content creator. You know, don't just do it for a commission or a fee. Do it because you enjoy their product and you use it and you like it. You know, don't. It's not going to do your, you know, you any service. Just, you know, you're starting the company's name and put it out there. It's something that you like and use, you know, push it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and the relationship aspect is big too. I, I had removed a, a recent affiliate. <clears throat> the owner reached out. I was like, what the heck? I was like, man, the last time I've talked to you was like nine months ago. Like, you didn't do anything wrong. I don't think you're a bad person. I don't think you're a bad company, but we're just. It's like people, they grow apart or just. Yeah. Time and distance is nothing, no disrespect. It, it, it's life. It, it, like you're saying, like I kind of just said, is you got to, are you using their products? Is it something you believe in or is it your go to or just, you know, it, you got to have that relationship. Exactly. And people you know? know that. They, they can feel that. They, yeah. they, they see that. It's so. on both ends. Yep. Um, uh, Rhino, the code is 20% off, expires tonight, but Dan C10 is always, it's just always 10% off. So Joe, I didn't even know, uh, he bumped it up to 20% till tonight, till midnight, unless he falls asleep and forgets it, then it's the morning, but uh, safe to say till midnight tonight, uh, but it's always 10% off, guys. So it's not like, you got to go tonight. I'm not trying to do any sales pitch or anything like well, that. It's just just yeah. a boost for you guys. I hope you guys, I mean, I just a yep. thank you to you guys for, I mean, you know, you guys, this, you guys made this happen, you know? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And then, uh, yeah. So Brad, I will, uh, every year I do now kind of my style is I do a, uh, end of the year full best products video. Um, I don't think it's like wasted content, but I don't want to waste people's time by having uh, an oil, a butter, a conditioner. So I just put it all into one video. So that will be in the, the next couple of months, breaking down, uh, my video and, and my criteria for that video is super simple. It's just, what do I still use? What do I reach? Mm. I try new products every single day. Which ones are I, am I craving on my off week? Like right now, I'm not preparing for any new small batch reviews. It's like a weird little downtime for me and I'm loving it. Yeah. So I get to go to the things that, that I've been craving. So uh, yeah, it, it's, it's huge. Envy and then go with uh, Ginger Jamboree. 
MV and Ginger Jamboree. It's Joe and myself's both of our favorite uh, yeah. top twos. Whoa, Andrew, man. Boom. Wow. Man, you didn't have to do that. Here's good, great being a great brother to me. Thank you, man. You, you didn't wow. have to do that, Andrew. You're you're in college, man. Jeez, Louise, thank you. I appreciate that. Gary, I thank you uh, yeah, so much as well, man, and, and Joe. But, man, Andrew. Andrew man, he's in college? Uh, yeah, he's actually a history guy. All right, give, we'll give him a gift card, $25. Oh, cool. Yeah, Andrew, he's actually a content creator. You're not in college, so sorry. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. He's uh, he's a wonderful guy. He's very open. He is uh, um, a he's recovering uh, from alcoholism, and yep. we've had some literal like two a.m. chats. He'll he'll text me like, "Hey, man, I need you," and then, "Hey, you know me, I, I got you and stuff." So we've had some awesome talks. Uh, he's had some big decisions in life as far as like college and his career, and I've loved yep. talking to him and kind of walking him through that stuff. So, man, thank you, Andrew. But yeah, he's hey, a big person to do that. Yeah, yeah. that, that it is. Exactly. Um, Shoot Dan or me your uh, your email address and I'll get that out to you. Awesome. So, hey, congratulations, Andrew, and thank you. I know obviously you weren't doing that for that. Uh, uh, Joe's just awesome there. So, thank you. Hey, good question here by Mister uh, Bushido. What's your uh, what's that what's that noggin shaving looking like? What's what's that process? <laughs> grow it up top, so you got to grow it out here. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, the beard octane aloe shaving gel. Got to use that. Um, That's the thing. What's that? That's the thing. Oh yeah, I got shaving gel. Dude, I didn't know that. Well, I, I can't sell that to you. Yeah, you know? true. Never <laughs> sent me that. <laughs> right, I got that on there. Um, I'll do all my edging and stuff with my safety razor that I have, and then I'll either hit it with the top. I'm getting better with it without cutting my head. If not, usually like a Mach five or something like that. I'll hit the the top and I'll shave it like two three times a week or so, and then leftover beer butter bomb, polish it up and out the door. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah, just to make it feel a little bit better too. Andrew is a veteran of our country. Thank you for your service, by the way. Yeah. So absolutely uh, awesome. But I've noticed oil has aloe extract. Shouldn't that need to preserve? So uh, Space Demon, any aloe extract that's going to be uh, shipped to a beard company, it's bought through a supplier. They automatically have that worked into mm -hmm. the, the product. So you're you're covered and good to go there. All decent, you know, ingredients and stuff that you typically like 18, 24 months shelf life. Yep. So. Yep. At least. Um, what do you use for a beard mask? I use a one off of Amazon actually. And it's, it's one I cut, cut a little cut in the back. I've had some of the like small batch ones that are super cool and tailored and custom and everyone loves. <clears throat> I just don't feel comfortable if I don't have my full beard covered. Like I have some that will cover like the front, like right here. And I have like spots sticking out. I just, uh, I can't do it. I don't know why I, I, I got to have my whole beard covered. It's not even like, I'm not even like freaking out about like stuff in there. I just don't like having bits of my beard for like pop out. It just seems weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I, we have them on the side now just so, but I just personally like the gator style full yeah. full is at work. A lot of times just interaction with people. I got to, have something on a you know pretty much most of the time anyway so for comfort and like same thing with damn full coverage yep yeah. uh what do you think about a mullet or neck long beard length jason dude i had a mullet two different times in the last like two years i love mullets I, my heart when i saw the hair on the floor i was like <laughs> yeah it, yeah but i loved it i loved the mullet man it, it's yeah. it's awesome and then a neck length a neck a mullet and neck or long yeah, dude, rock rock the mullet in in long. Oh, you rock it. It's, it, they're back. Yeah, mine got pretty long for a while. Yeah. Uh, what's the longest an oil will last in a d cool, dark place? Uh, depends on the product. Uh, depends on the carriers that are with it. Some carriers are shorter shelf life than others. Uh, some don't have a shelf life. Jojoba is five plus years. That's, yeah. Uh, that's so the there's highest ones. Yep, it just depends on on what the mixture is. General rule of thumb is one to two years. Yeah, one to two years. Things like grapeseed oil have a little bit shorter shelf life. I mean, yeah, just depends. And uh, yeah, keep it cool, keep it dark. It, it's going to do wonders. Absolutely, absolute and wonders. Like with the so what would you, moms, you guys are digging your fingers in there. Wash your hands real quick before you you stick your fingers in there too, because that's gonna that can mess with it too. I got a video on that. Literally, what to do before? Drink. Yeah, drink. <laughs> uh, what's the shelf? If so, when you advise for your company, what do you say for the shelf life? I always say safest. I mean, 
a lot of it's longer. Why do we say 18 to 24 months from purchase date? Yep. And it, yeah. I mean, hopefully it doesn't last that long because you enjoy it and use it. Yeah. It's but, crazy to think I have oils that are over two years old from Beard Octane. A lot of them, they'll be perfectly fine, but just yep. from a business standpoint, you know, you give it like a shorter window, if you will. But mm -hmm. all how you store it, if you have it in the windowsill in the sun, probably not going to last as long. You know, it's not how you take care of your stuff. Yep. Matthew says, uh, I use a pillowcase and cut holes in the ears. <laughs> Dang. It's a big beard then. I was going to say, <clears throat> how big's your beard, baby? That thing sounds nice. Wow. That's interesting. Well, uh, well, the odds of DJ Silky Dan be making a comeback. I think he's quarantined right now. Yeah, right? He, I think if he comes back, though, he, he's going to come back in a big way, though. Oh, yeah. I got a feeling about that. We'll have to talk about that later. Yeah, for sure. I, I think so. He It would be his style, man. He he has to. So, yeah, there, there's no no doubt about that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm ready to start. Uh, well, you can see him right now across the, hanging on your wall right now. Oh, so. yeah. He's right there. Right there. I'm ready for him to come back. I'm, <clears throat> I, I know, I know we gotta be safe and everything, and I'm always there on the side of safety. But man, I would again, I would love to get out there with you guys. I'd love to to start. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, that squashed a lot of things this season. Yep. You know, this the spring into the summer, you know. Yep. I was looking forward to Disney and you know. Yeah. Stuff. I know, I know, and that's we were looking at. We're looking at spring break actually, for next year. Park, we're looking at actually a bunch of things. Yeah, and it's like uh, I don't even know. Yeah, Hershey Park was planned yeah. and booked, yeah. actually booked. Oh yeah, uh, it was. What? It sucked. I had Austin plane ticket booked. Yep. But we're looking at Disney for next year spring break, and we're like, I don't even know. Like, who yeah. knows now? You know? Yeah. Um, can products go old, and you could still use it if if it is too old? So, so when products go old, you kind of have two two routes that they go down. One is if you smell the bottle and there's no more scent left, the product is still probably good for its purpose as a beard oil. It's just the scents kind of dissipated and went away. Now, if you smell it and it smells rancid, like throw up or vomit, something like that, now you have a, a problem. Man, Joe, that place looks so much cooler without you sitting there. Oh, in the back? Oh, yeah. I'll just, I'll have to, you know, I, um, oh, getting old. Uh, a few a few years back, probably four or five years ago, we built our house. But I um, actually in the basement, I finished off like three quarters of it. I built all that the the bar, uh, living room. Yeah, now I built all this. That's so, awesome. Yeah, thank you. That looked cool. Do you get to spend time down there, or not really? Uh, when we do have any kind of downtime, a lot of times, like especially like with the the fall and the winter coming, not being outside as much, we'll we'll down here quite a bit. Yeah, it's set up for entertaining to. Over to the right here. That's a little bathroom down there, and cool. Yeah, it's, cool. Yeah, it's good to go. Cool, and yeah, man. Uh, Steve and I, I was scheduled to go out there in May. Literally out there in May, and uh, yeah, uh, it didn't happen. So I, I, I missed it. Do you know? Do you know this gentleman right here, Joe? You ever talked to? Yes, I did. Stephen Steve. Gore. Yep. Yep. We talked, Great dude. Uh, but he's in uh, the other side. Well, oh, a little bit, about like an hour away. Forty-five. Oh, minutes. you met him at the the fa the like fair or whatever, right? No, I haven't met him yet. Who we you meet? Uh, well, you got uh, 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 Eric, who's he's in uh, Steve. He uh, Eric is literally both of them uh, are probably ten minutes away or so. Uh, who'd you meet at the market? Um, oh, there was somebody else that was up in uh, Glastonbury. That's him. No, nope. no, nope. Oh, I swear it was. No, nope. we talked. Oh, it's it's something I know, but um. Oh, I'm just having a brain fart. Me too. Um, because there's one I just met from uh, Glastonbury. If you're in here, speak up. Nope, it's not. It's not him. Oh shoot! Who yeah, was Eric's, that? Eric stops over quite a bit. He's uh he's probably ten minutes away, and then uh, okay, Steve and his wife Sarah, they're 10, 15 minutes away. You see them? I actually been seeing them quite a bit lately. Oh, was it? Yeah, Eric with an A. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Eric. Yeah, yeah, he's phenomenal. I love Eric. Uh, Oh, he's in here. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Yeah, Eric is awesome. Man, who was the other one? It was the guy with the beard. There you go, Jason. Yeah, he had a beard. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. 
Uh, the wife and I ate at a buffet for the first time. Yeah, he had to wear gloves and masks. That, that's funny. We drove by a buffet the other day. Right now, I think, right? What's that? I don't think you can self-serve at a buffet, right? You got to get served. Yeah, we, we went to a pizza place that we like that normally has a pizza buffet. And same thing, you could go up to it, but they had to yeah. they had serve. Yeah, serve you. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. Man, I want I'm, that's gonna bug me not thinking about who that uh, that pitcher was because I knew I knew it was somebody. Yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't met um, Marco yet, but I'm, I'm sure I'll meet him soon. He's right down there. I would say once the weather gets better too, we'll, you know, we'll start yep. doing more events. You know, especially what I have coming up in this, you know, late winter, spring. So it was you, Steve. Man, I swear it was somebody else. I thought because I knew you lived uh, over Glassbury. He's uh, that was the, late, the latest one I I met. Okay. No, that, that's Steve. I met Steve before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and it could have that could have been the well, picture. Well, we, well, he was there. We took our photo at the at the. Uh, but I met him before that. Okay. The latest photo at the market was with Steve. Okay, then it must have been you, Steve. Oh, okay. That's for you. I'm sorry, because there's somebody else that came that for last year. He's like, oh, I'm on the channel and all this stuff. Yeah, that's what's kind of cool too. Is that guys you never met before? Oh, I, I know about you from Dan C. And I'm like, and they're local. You know, it's cool. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm loving everything. The Facebook group's amazing. Eric, uh, Eric's a huge part of the Facebook group. He cracks me up. He he's a stay at home dad, so he stayed at home and he like puts Dude. pictures like checking yeah. it at work, and it's like the kids going crazy and stuff. It's so awesome. This kid's got a nasty uh, frisbee throw. <laughs> oh yeah, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh man, that is funny. Yeah, different Stephen. Maybe that's where I was confused. I think is I had the name Stephen. On the brain, and, yeah. yeah. It was talking about Steve Mark, but yep, picture I put online. But there was somebody I was thinking of somebody else myself that I met. Yeah. Did you see my candle? The other night? No, I didn't see the. Is it like carved out in it? That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's an actual. I haven't lit it yet because I think it's just too pretty. Tonight, but uh, Jason, who's in the chat, his dad got it for me. Also, Jason. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if Jason did they. Did he make it himself or did he have some? Like, oh, a so he was on like a, a trip. He and, didn't hand carve it. What's that? He didn't hand carve it. No, <laughs> I know. Where's, where's the dedication? Yeah. Right. And he, uh, they had like custom ones. He was like, I That's know what I'm going to make or have them make. And he had it made for me and sent it out here. It. And, uh, yeah, man, it's super cool. There's no scent to it or anything, but it's yeah. got great, great weight to it. Oh yeah. It's awesome. That's cool. Uh, you guys might really have have me go back to toxic. No, man, David, it's this. The group is special. I, I really, really mean it. Uh, it. It's there's nothing toxic about that group. Yeah, it, it's phenomenal. I'm excited. We uh, we do a monthly sponsor, and, and at some point in the future, I I know what it is, but I'm not telling you guys. But uh, Beard Octane will will be a sponsor, so we got some things up our sleeves for that, and get some content from from uh the mayor out there it's uh it, it's amazing and even even guys yeah like guys are saying, <coughs> facebook, same here i just opened up face facebook last year literally to make the group um create a beard one i have one that that's nobody else is on it whatsoever other than my my beard content and it's just for the group so yeah consider just making one where where it's for the the beard group I have one that's literally named Beard Fam. And like today, Sonny, who is one of the funniest humans on the planet, uh, we had a we do video call pretty much every other week. And his boy, Julian, and then my sons, Jackson Maddox, they get Pokemon cards and they open them together and we show like what cards we got and all that stuff. So yeah, my kids have uh, those cards too. Yeah. Yeah. How's your boy doing? Good. <laughs> he actually uh my uh, he went with my parents today. They actually went camping tonight. Oh yeah, not, not your kind of glamour uh, camping, but in a tent. Oh, <laughs> what are the temps getting down to? We're in the thirties now. We're uh, we're probably mid upper forties right now. It's probably it's probably like the last weekend before you can get away with it. You know, say hey, that that's a little bit cold. Yeah, well, a couple extra blankets be good to go. Yeah, so we're we'll doing that for the weekend. Comment for you, Joe. If you want to read that, I'm trying to pay Apple Pay, so I got to move it. Um, it should. Does anyone else have a, an issue with the uh, 
I didn't hear anything. It should work. I didn't hear anything either, but it should take it. Worst case, if it doesn't do it, just because we're in the middle of this, just shoot me a message and I'll I'll refund the difference, whatever it is. I'll take care of it for you. Yeah, it should work though. Yeah, it should, but I mean, it could be some kind of hiccup in it. I'll I'll take care of it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. You think we announced this bad boy? Think so. Okay. Think so. Oh, does this winner get? I'm choking on some jerky. Go ahead. <laughs> the winner is going to get the $250 um, gift card. <clears throat> They're going to get their name on the bottle. Let's make sure I just don't miss anything here. Um, the name printed on the uh, the label of the product on the uh, product page itself. You will receive the final product um, with the new labels. And then I think that was it. Yep. And then right. you're going to get a gift, uh, gift set also. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So huge. I'm super excited. Uh, this and this, it went straight by the poll, but this was actually my, my pick too. I sent a list of like six or seven to Joe that I really, really liked. And this was, this was my favorite too. I think it hits the company name um, brand perfectly and it knocks the scent out of the park with it too. It kind of blends both worlds. I, I think it was the best of doing both of them into one. So the winning name I'm going to put in the chat and then announce there, get a little suspense here. Da, 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 da. The winning name is, let me see it going, Mint Condition by Big Duke. Congrats. Congrats. That is awesome. Joe, thoughts on Mint Condition? Absolutely. Like you said, perfectly fitting. It it touches on the scent, but then it, it jives with the the company profile or theme, if you will. Because that, like I said before, there are some amazing names in there, but either it didn't with the scent profile or with the company. You got, that was a big part of it. You, you wanted to like nail both points when coming up with the name. So absolutely love it. Yeah. What I, mean, I, mean, I mean, a lot of names we went through and even some other ones, like, like I said, this was like so tough to narrow it down and this, it worked out perfect. Yes. And a couple more that were, uh, they were on my list that I sent over to Joe and they're in here right now. And they were uh, runner-ups. They're literally on this one that's right here. Um, we have Zach Bennett, who's in here, who's a dang beard model. And his was Invigorator. I love that name. I was love awesome. that name. Uh, so Invigorator was one, Zach Bennett. Uh, Pristine from our buddy Steven that we were just talking yep. about. One. And then another one was uh, Reflection uh, by Indiana. Yep. And so that was that was another good one. So, man, there there were a, a lot of awesome ones out there. Invigorator was good. Yeah, I liked it. Was I liked in there. Um, I'm just looking at the uh, – I, I, I can post the totals afterwards, but Mint Condition, I think, end up having 215 votes. And then uh, Carbon Fields is right behind it, not too far off. So, I mean, the voting was very close on a lot of these. Yep. And, yeah, there were awesome ones. Gary said he liked Redline. Yeah, Redline, Redline, Redline. Up there. Yep, that goes with the – Yep, the whole thing and everything. With the theme and, you know, and, and then plus two, I mean, lesson learned too is um, if, if we ever do this again, like scent name length, if you will. Some names were like – three, four words and it like it would have wrapped around the bottle like three times. And you know, that was kind of a, a factor of it too. Yeah. Yes, please. Right here. Cold start for a mint, a cool minty one. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. That's on brand and it would fit the scent. Oh, yeah. And you know, I would love it. <laughs> hey, you need a little like menthol on that one. Yeah. And we, how many menthol testers did we go through? Yeah. That's why I started messing around a little bit for the, um, like essential oils and stuff like that. Yep. Playing with that. So I'll have to mess with that again. Yeah. Cause uh, that get that really good, like cooling effect. That would be very fitting for that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. It is. Uh, was thinking downdraft, but too close to downshift. Yeah. That'd be yeah. tough to pull. It'd be a little confusing for people. Cause you guys can't imagine the messages these beard companies get. We have no idea. Oh, <laughs> I, I I don't uh, yeah uh, I don't know how people do I mean, it. 
Yeah, and, and sometimes people just don't know. It is, you know, but then sometimes you'll get one or two every now and then and work yep. your way through it, you know. So process now is the the mystery bottle is is this one done or you still have some out there and then when you <clears> I think what I'm going to do out. just because I mean I have a bunch of we already made. I'll leave up I mean maybe because it's a special cuz of the label and stuff like that. I'll leave this up until it'll probably be one to two weeks at most to come out with like the label and um, everything. Oops. Sorry. Um, probably about like one to two weeks tops and everything be released with like the new labeling on it. So cool. I'll the current sent up for now. Plus you guys can get a discount if you pick it up. So yeah. Yeah. Dan C 10 guys for, for a little bit longer is going to be 20% off. Uh, make, Ask if uh, Dan, do you know if menthol, actual menthol, is bad for beer products? I don't know. I, I haven't looked into that. Steve Rillo. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. What Steve has something funny to say? Oh yeah, I'm just reading his uh, his message. Is Holly in here? I haven't seen her. She, she probably fell asleep. She's yeah, probably getting she fell asleep. She always falls asleep early. She made. Uh, she made a uh, a lot of soap today. Yeah, she was trying to call me on the old school rap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we run down the sense. Yeah. So the winners, number one, $250 gift card plus a beard box goes to Big Duke with mint condition. And then the three runner ups that get a beard box and a $25 gift card is Carbon Fields, Bluegrass, Maverick, Marco Diaz, Intake, Pete White. And then the rest are getting a $25 uh, beard octane gift card that was Cruise Control, Jesse P, Top Down, Road King. Road King Rider 13, Brisk Joel Hammond, uh, Cruz Steve M, Redlined Bearded Bushido, Vintage uh, Beard Swag, and then Zen Robert Martin. Yes. So those would be the the winners that that go down. And yeah, tons of love here. Steve says, uh, love your products, Joe. Appreciate it, brother. Seriously. Yeah, I hear nothing but but amazing things man it's uh it, it always feels good when you support someone and they come back and it's not only the products are great but also man joe took care of me the customer service was amazing the shipping was on time the communication was great uh because there's nothing worse than when when i support a company and then i start uh and, and there's always reasons right there may be a company owner that's going through something i had one that was recently going through a divorce and I got comments lit up. Hey, I put in an order a week and a half ago and I haven't heard from them and stuff. And then <clears throat> I got to reach out to them and they're like, God, what's going on, man? You know, because it's like my reputation is on the line there and yeah. stuff. And I've, yeah. I've never I mean, had that. I, mean, I work full time. I do this full time. Yep. And I have my family. You know, it, it's it's a lot, you know. So, I yeah, I can, I can see where it happens. But we a lot of stuff like you guys come – pretty much first, like when it comes down, I mean, we try to get the orders out the, the same day, the very next day. And if there's something ever wrong or there's a mistake in our part, something gets broken. We always, we just take care of it. Yeah. Cause I want you to come back and have nothing. My name means more to me than, you know, it, it's my name. It goes into every product that I make. So I want nothing yep. but complete satisfaction. So yeah. Playing the long game. Yep. Uh, James wants to know uh, what about Ireland, UK? Do you have international shipping? What's the, yep. what's the deal? Yeah. Yeah. We ship uh, worldwide. Um, we're in a bunch of actually, um, I guess, wholesaler, uh, wholesaler, wholesale accounts overseas in Belgium, a couple other places, Omen. But um, yeah, no, we ship international. I just added UPS for an option for international because you, USPS during the pandemic for international has been a complete nightmare. Yeah, uh, just time. Like you order something, it would take two to four weeks to get something in, and once it leaves U.S. soil, I have no way of tracking it to give you an update. So we ran into that. So I added a couple other shipping options, but yeah. yep, we're wide. And then just real quick, again, we have people kind of coming in and out here. Uh, your day job, Joe? You said you work full time. You do this full time? Uh, law enforcement. So do that. I've been doing that for just about eighteen years now. Awesome. And uh, oh, where is that? this one goes. Uh, my fiance told me before I get more beard octane, I had to get rid of my some non old beard octane. So, hey, take that trade. Hey, Rich, yeah, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jerry? Welcome on in, man. Yeah, lots of lots of kind things here. On uh, congrats to Big Duke and and everything. What about a birthday cake scent? So, uh, some people have that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is a popular thing. You know, uh, yeah, that's a good question, Joe. What's your what's the the deal with the Chicago Combs right now? Yes, no, nope, we got them. Um, we kind of worked something out with those guys. Um, amazing, super strong carbon fiber combs. So we kind of partner partner up with them a little bit to get the um, the logo laser etched into them. So yep, we have the the number one six seven eight right now with those guys and potentially working on a couple other things with them. So. Nice. Yep. I'm still, I'm still waiting on one of them. Oh, you got a couple of things coming. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just keep hearing about it's the rake one. It's the number eight. Is that right? The pick one? Not yeah. Well, with you, the handle on the side. You, well, no, that's is that eight. Hmm. That's the one. The one that has yeah. it's that's it's like uh, it's like this, yeah. like a handle, but then it that's looks like a pick. Yep. Is that eight? I believe it's eight. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. They uh. Yeah, Big Duke says Dan wants the rake. I do. Because guys keep raving about it. I think it's – there's a couple in here. Yeah, Eric is, like, preaching about the Model 8. Well, you know how he gets. Yeah. Know. he. Good. Yeah, because right. yeah, the seven's the pick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, I, I got to try that one. Josh in here, who had, he's my bearded twin, he preaches about it. Our uh, our boy Dan B, who hit, hits us up every day, he, he always preaches about it, so – Marco says it's amazing. I have that one. So people just go wild because I have the two smaller ones and I don't use them. They they don't fit my beard. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Because yeah. I use the um the eight. Could we establish that? Eight. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get my, my hands on that one. Um, and then again, we, we've uh, you kind of covered it at the beginning, but maybe just a, a quick version. People love hearing this this kind of yeah. story. Here. What a couple years ago, when I first started growing a beard, because my regular job, I wasn't in a position to do so, and then uh, I can't grow it up top, obviously. So, started growing a beard, and you know, kind of like I told a story at the beginning of the stream, didn't know anything about products or anything like that. But my sister out in Texas was going to farmers markets, and she was making beer bombs, and she gave me some, and I was like, wow, this stuff is awesome. And she wasn't doing anything with oils or anything like that. And <clears throat> just coming from closing out, uh, another business and then, you know, looking, I can't sit still. So kind of started looking into how to make stuff. And cause she stopped doing the markets. So she stopped making the beer bombs. So I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? I'll make it myself. So started making it and then started sharing it with friends. And I got a hold of it. Like this stuff is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And just one thing led to another, Mike, Hey, maybe I can turn this into something. So I started doing research and I mean, there was a good six, seven month period of like just making and testing stuff before even trying to release anything to the public. So yeah, that's awesome. Get this man the eight. Yeah, I know. I agree. And then a couple people said, when will it be on the site? Uh, let me show you. And then I saw, yeah, just, I got, I got you, Joe. I got you. Just Thank let you. me, uh, I can't find it on the site here. So let right. me, uh, let me share, guys. It's it's this, this easy. So I got the website up. Oh, the voting was still there. All right. So I went to search. I literally typed the number eight, and then boom, Ooh. right there. Yeah, that that's the puppy that I want right there. I want I want that beard volume. I heard it does great for giving you volume. Fluff, yeah. The fluff. The fluff. So if you that with the LCW, boom, hit that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. great exfoliator too. You get out the shower, it makes it super. It's like, boom. That's so awesome. Effort, yeah, I bought a new a new toy. So I, you know, I hit 30k recently. So I splurged a little bit, bought some new lights, bought some some new equipment and stuff. I was like, this is a point where I can, I can kind of do things. I bought a pretty pretty expensive light wand that's down here. Yeah. It's really powerful and stuff. But I bought this, and I'm gonna do something with it eventually. But I don't quite know what it is. It kind of freaks Sam out. So I bought a mini smart camera. Okay. So this is a uh, an HD 1080p. So let's see on there. HD 1080p mini like spy camera. Get ready to see this thing. The Freak. quality is crazy on it here. I got to show you. I got to get out of the. the Hide it in your beard and have like a beard cam. So I I know I can do something with it. That's the reason why I bought it. I don't have plans yet. But I know that I can do something with it. Look, let me see where I can find. You can't even find it. It's just crazy. Look at this thing. It smokes. That's the entire thing. Yeah. Always like a little mini uh, SD that goes into it. Yeah. That's pretty wild. 
Yep. Have you tried it to see what the quality is? It's know, crazy. crazy. And it's also magnetic, so you can like stick. Uh, like, look at that. That the magnet doesn't interfere with the. Nope. Hmm. So if I if I had it like right there, I could be filming right now. That's pretty wild. It's got like the little buttons on it and everything. Yeah. When you do your streaming, you don't, you haven't gotten into like Stream Deck or anything like that, have you? To, like, no. And stuff. No. But it's okay. got yeah, okay. it came right, it's got the little the little mini in here and. Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't cheap, but I thought I was like, I know I can do something pretty cool with this. Yeah. It's got a freaking magnet that came out like the stuff they have now. It's insane. It's it's redunculous. Absolutely like, redunculous. The, um, the GoPro, the whatever them or is another company with the uh, the drone that goes up and it just follows you. Yeah. You'd be riding a bike so, through, like a trail and thing just, you know, that's it's crazy. Yeah, a- absolutely silly. So I was excited for that. Got the toys, got the lights and everything. It's like, I, you know me, I, I don't spend money on myself. I hate spending money. So I was like, you know what? 30 K was a good reason to Absolutely. earned it. Yeah. To do so. <laughs> Logan says under beard cam, uh, Terry at, uh, at, uh, define says, Hey, Joan Denton, what did I, uh, hey, Terry, what's up? What mystery sent us. All right, so Joe, hit him with the the profile and then the name. This will be the first time the profile is said with the name. Oh, wait, sorry, pause. Yes, golf cart vlogging Ooh. camera. Dude. Dude. The rails on it, they're aluminum. If it's going to stick to it, the magnet. Yes, that's the only thing. But yeah, that'd be sick. Wait, do magnets not stick to aluminum? No. Oh. I don't like, know that stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. You do like stainless or like steel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, aluminum. It's not going to stick. Ah, uh, all right, all right, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I cut you off. Scent description and new name. Uh, scent is it's going to be it's a uh, mint, vetiver, uh, lemongrass, leather, and patchouli. And the scent by Big Duke is mint condition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and Jason, I don't usually speak about uh, videos coming out in the future because people like to try and steal them. Um, but I will tell you officially, Wednesday, 8 a.m., I have a a full beard vitamin regiment video dropping all the sciencey bits and, and all that stuff in there. So, yes, Wednesday morning, 8 a.m., that video will be out. I'm excited about that. All right. And you you have new biotin in now? Yeah, I'm full. Oh, trust me, I'm stocked to the the guilds. It, because anytime we do like a, a new batch, especially in the quality that we're we're ordering in now, we have to send out to a third third party uh, lab to have just quality assurance, like the testing and stuff like that. And because it's COVID, everything got pushed back like four weeks at the probably the worst time. But nope, yeah. we're fully. We got a lot. So. All right, Ryan says uh, 3X. So you got them big boys in stock for holiday? Yeah, all right, I think we just ran out like last week. But no, they're being, excuse me, they're being uh, made right now, actually. So probably a week or two tops. So we have some new shirts and stuff that we're working on. You know, so we got quite a bit. Good. I'll let you take this one, Joe. I, I would say you have a medium-sized beard. Uh, out of the Chicago combs, which one do you think fits best for medium? Uh, the four or the, uh, not the four, either the, I use the six quite a bit. Um, it's the longer, it's got the, like the thicker on one side, but it's the smaller bristles, if you will, between that and the, my oxhorn comb that I've been using the 2.0, the, the handle one quite a bit lately, but the, for the Chicago combs, the, um, the six. Okay. Uh, just got the ones in two and it has like, the little finger loophole in it. So that's the same thing too. So I, I keep that one in the car. Yeah. And a couple people have commented on the mint, and and I don't think that it's uh, necessarily that it's not prominent. I just think that everything is blended so well. Like I don't think that top layer that yeah. just pulls some stuff together and smooths it out. Exactly. Yeah, because I don't get like it's leather in there, but this doesn't scream leather. It doesn't no. scream those things. Uh, but what type of mint uh, did you use? Can't tell you that. Oh, hey, hey, okay, hey, Joseph. What? Easy, easy up there, Joseph. Mint. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, James, I'm looking at starting my beard supplements. Yeah, so uh, James, it, this will help your your head hair grow, your beard hair, your chest hair, your your top of your foot hair. So that Great. video is coming out on Wednesday. Um, it took a very long time to get ready for this one. I, I, I'll show you guys like notes I had on this. It, there is a a lot 
a lot to this video. All right, you ready here? Still, That's still going. Do, like the research you got to put in. I mean, because people depend on you for. And if backed up by facts and science and the research that goes into it and at the rate you're putting videos out too, that's, I don't know. And if I miss a step on something like, especially cause there's some videos <laughs> where I, yeah. If, if I miss a step on something like that, cause there, yeah, there's videos where I can go in and just talk about my, my experiences, my feel like, Hey, yeah. this is what I like. Um, I have a video coming out this weekend uh, about yeah, uh, your opinion. Once you start putting it out there, telling people, this is why it's good for you or, or not. You know, that's yeah. a, you get to have right. a great. And if I, if I miss anything, man, they, they, they call it as they oh, should. No, no. We, we, exactly. As they should, as they <laughs> should. So yep. this video, uh, I, but people kind of know now too, that if it's a video like that, especially on the science side, that it's, it's buttoned up. I mean, you can try and pick it right. apart, but you're going to be likely using false and uh, faulty research because. Oh, no, you can, you can always put something into Google and find the answer yep. you're looking for <clears throat> yep. that, cater, that caters to your agenda. Yes. Yep. See, yep. I had a story about the actual science and backed it with the results. And this is why. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Pretty I had um, a story about confirmation bias the other day and it wasn't aimed at anybody. A couple people were like, who are you talking about? I'm like, nobody. It's just. No. It's just, I, yeah, I, good point. yeah. It's just a yep. good, a good living to, or a good saying to live by. And it goes with that. So it's like, anybody can do that, but man, yeah, it's, it's pretty buttoned up. I'm excited for this video. It's going to be pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. I uh, forgot this was on. Chris, you're killing me, man. You're killing okay. me. No, that's okay. Just, just messing with you. Uh, yeah, thank you for stopping in. Stopping in here. And in the uh, the labeling on uh, Beard and Max bottles. Killing it. Killing it. And, yeah. and like people like with the channel that like make me better and like hold me accountable. Chris is one yeah. of them. He was a subscriber before he created a company. And we yep. had super deep conversations about products. And he he is what somebody should be in the road of being an owner. He started taking classes. I took the same exact ones as him, actually, um, about uh, fragrances and soap making and, and all this stuff. And he he did it the right way. And that's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Jerry, he, he answered earlier his top two would be Ginger Jamboree and Envy, which would also be my top two. <clears throat> I would also throw my most used in there for you would uh, round out my top four most used would also include Downshift and Citrafella. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I I the heck out of it. <laughs> Phil, better order your collagen peptides now, boys. When the video drops, it'll be sold out. I uh I yes, collagen peptides are in the video. There there is no no doubt about that. All right, Ryan, thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, we'll probably be wrapping it up in a little bit here, just kind of <clears> hanging <throat> a little bit. And yeah, so many guys in the community. Uh Sun Bacon, what you got there, Joe? Uh it should be. So not. I will double check. Do, 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 do. Like I'm working right now. <laughs> kind of are. Okay, basically. Uh, there's no time off. That's work. Yeah, no, that, that's in stock. The only thing that's not in is a soap. Okay, there you go. What's up, oh, Devin? Yeah. Sorry I'm late. Put it on and just make it. Yeah, Devin's only an hour and or, uh, two hours and 20 minutes late. So <laughs> just, just, just a slight tardy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Way to yeah. think it through. Yeah, kid strolls into my Google Meet 45 minutes late, and there's only 10 minutes left in class. Oh, like, hey, oh, what I miss? <clears throat> Down. Shut up. Goodness. Um, Daniel, it is uh, – so it's about a week out, mid-next week, end of next week. It'll be in stock. Uh, but Joe opened it up for tonight and tonight only, just so you guys can use the yeah. code. So if you use DanC10 tonight, it's worth 20% off, and you can order that uh, – LCW, uh, you just gotta be a little patient because it won't be able to ship till he's thinking like Thursday, Wednesday, somewhere in that range. If you guys need it, I'll ship out what you guys order, and then I'll just ship the LCW when it comes in. Because probably at midnight, I I will shut that off just so it doesn't happen to regular. I would say regular customers, but people that didn't watch the stream and all of a sudden I got this in stock and they order it, right? And they tell them, hey, it's gonna take a week. Yeah, yeah. Save me headaches. Yeah, that that would be. I do the stream. I'll just ship out if you order different stuff and I'll get it to you within a week. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Matt, uh, that's going to be good till tonight, till, till about midnight. So got a little bit of time left there. Now I feel even worse. Yeah, you should. Just. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is the, the length you should start using? I, 
it, it all it all depends on your goals. Um, it, it could be stubble if you're wanting to grow faster and just help <sighs> fill in thickness yeah. overall health. Yep, and it's it's hard to tell uh, if if it's shorter to to notice a difference, of course. But it just yeah, it, it, there's no wrong. It's almost like what people say: when should I start using beard butter? There's and no if there's, gonna, if there's not hair there, it's not going to magically appear. Right, right. You know, the the one thing people are like, oh, I I have a thin beard. Well, if you don't have the beard hair there or hair, it's not going <laughs> to, you know. Dude, that that would be a fire product. Oh the, uh, yeah, I I could you know. Mint condition in uh in bath bombs. That would be oh, well you gotta talk to Holly about that. She's the, <laughs> the bath bomb it yeah, would, that would be nice for that. Ooh, that would be nice. Uh 20% is awesome though. Yes, it is. Joe does that a couple times. <clears throat> a year. I'll usually like stack a sale or something, but it's it's not uh it's not always hasn't been for a little while. So yeah, hop on it. Um even if it's just to like restock, I know that I'm always going to use ginger jamboree bar soap. That's just that's just a staple in my house. And downshift butter is like on repeat because Sam freaking steals it. And she used so that's her after she uses two things that's after like one of the most popular like like subscribed products. Oh, the downshift butter. Yeah, just so on she, uh, two products <laughs> after hour she actually if gary's in here her number one conditioner and wash of all time is their jade line so she loves that literally out of any women's products of all time it's number one and then out of the shower she uses bell isle butter from detroit grooming and then she uses downshift from beard octane those are those are her beard product go-tos and i know I'm products yep That's when good. those when those come in i know she's uh she's stealing them from me and awesome, Gary. And then I would never dream of using her jade. That's one that I don't, but I do take the downshift back from time to time. And I'm like, give me that here. Give me that here. Yeah. And Kevin, I kind of break this down in the video and, and I go over kind of the, the misinformation with this because people will be like, biotin's a snake oil, uh, vitamins are snake oil. This stuff doesn't work. Guys. And they're like, it's all about genetics. No. That's yeah, not true. A supplement to where you're yeah. deficient. How how you get those things can be in very different ways. Yep. You need those things. Period. End of story. It's true. Genetics you have deficiency where you need to supplement. Yep. Supplements. Yep. So that that's my thing. I it, I don't get what it is about guys where it's like manly to be like no, you know I got I got nature. I don't need any of this stuff. Yeah, genetics, you know, it's just some guys have it, some don't. Yeah. Uh, what's the recommendation, the regular oxhorn comb or the handled oxhorn comb for a medium beard? Preference, man. Yeah, it's whether you want to handle or not. They're both, I I use the both just as much, you know, the same. Yep. You yeah, know. I use the handle more these days, but this is my tried and true comb. And I've, I, this, I got this in one of my original yeah, packages yeah. from you. There's some weather to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is before you have a new style of, of combs. Been, I was the ones, the thick ones, the thick yeah. ones and then the handle. But even the even your your normal um oxhorn comb, you changed slightly because a little bit, a little bit of the thickness of the tooth. Yeah, but Just I love because, these. Um, they're frat like when you ship them, they get banged around, they snap. Okay. They increase the thickness by a little bit. That yeah, knock on wood. Yeah. See, no, I love them. Uh, so TJ, yeah, I can tell you this here, um, beard fuel and biotin beard fuel is more of like a men's multivitamin. It's going to kind of address like overall health, which are, have many things that are really important for your beard health. And then it, uh, in biotin is specifically for rate of growth, thickness, just kind of the, the health of the, the hairs. Uh, essentially what it does is it's going to um, boost up your keratin production. So I take both of them. Yes. And, and I rotate between all of them. Um, I've been out of, uh, Beard Octane's Biotin and Beard Fuel for a little bit because he was he was out for a while. So I, I was out of those. Um, but right now I, I have different ones that I'm using. But yeah, I for a very long time, I took them both. I actually had the Beard Fuel for a while. Then I had the gummies and I took the gummies and the Biotin um, together. Yeah, I uh, I love those. And the gummies are delicious. So good. Uh, should I start using Biotin with the link I have now or should I wait till it gets a little bit longer? Jason, I would use it right now. And Jason... Yeah. Uh, Jason's a young man. He's hey, there faster. Yeah, he just had a birthday. He either turned eighteen or nineteen, 
Um, and he's got an awesome full beard already. To be the but, age again. Yep. Right. <laughs> uh, why have I never noticed the Murdered Out Dancy logo on the top right? I just threw it on for tonight. Just that, that's all. Yeah. I just wanted just a just just a little touch. Yeah. I that by hand. It's crazy. I was, right. talking, I was talking to him about the other night. It's, yeah, he's crazy. Mm hmm. Uh, last call or karma? Which one you prefer? Uh, last call for me. Last call. Yeah, last call is like a natural cologne. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I really, really enjoy that one. And yeah, when you when you grow, when you start doing biotin, man, you really start to notice with your nails. And people yep. are like, I notice it in my nails and maybe my other parts, but not my beard. No, that's not true. Um, your body doesn't get to select where it puts uh, uh, keratin. It's not oh, going to be like, I'm going to boost yep. here. I'm going to boost here. It doesn't quite work the way you notice your nails because they're measurable by turning white. Right, the white tip goes on there, and you can see exactly how it is. Your beard's not that convenient to measure, so uh, yeah, you you don't need to. Uh, he just turned eighteen. Yeah, he he just just turned eighteen. Uh, Dancy logo sticker would look sick on the front of a BMX or dirt bike. Uh, yeah, James. Hey, if you don't know, I'll throw it in the. Uh, Sam Sam was uh, bunny hops. She was kind of low key on the the site for a little bit but she's back and all the, mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> all the money made off the site goes to sam's like treat yourself fun so she's got her eyebrows done and she's like i depleted my funds i was like hey you better get to work and like this stuff ain't for free so she uh she's back at it again but yeah right there's the logo i'm gonna make a big one throw down the the golf good cart night, buddy. good night buddy thanks for uh coming through who's taking off oh steve mark oh cool see you steve don't kill anything tonight. <laughs> we roll crawl <laughs> four in the morning. And Marco, take care, Marco. Marco, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what up? Did someone say last call? Last call for the air. Oh, yes, Ruben. They did. They did. Yep, got some Dan C hats coming in the near future. Man, I've been rocking the heck out of my beef octane hats. I love oh, those things. They fell on the floor. Oh, one second. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, those hats. And, yeah, my hats are going to come on uh, pre-sale pretty soon now. We got some uh, new Beard Octane ones, but I think you saw that this one, right? Oh, that's sick. The uh, the circle logo for the Beef Octane. Mm-hmm. What else we got? I've got the all gray one. Did I send you? Yeah, I sent you a gray one, too. You got the, the, yeah, you wore the camel one. On, yeah, you yeah. wore this one, I think. Yeah, it's like that one. Yep, I wore that one on the stream. I did the gray one on a video recently. Yeah, I got some pretty sick uh, flag ones coming. Pretty oh, nice. Good. Yeah, some good stuff. Do, for the those, do those sell at your shows? When we go out? Yeah, yeah. honestly, to be, I'm going to say surprisingly, but yeah, the hats. Um, I thought those would be kind of an in-person thing. Yeah. Yep. Once they see it, then, you know, done deal. Yeah. Uh, Chase, mix it up, man. Uh, there, there's no downfall to using uh, multiple companies and stuff, yeah. dude. Sw switch it up, go wild. What works most for you, days, man? Yeah, most days I'm using stuff different. If I'm if I'm reviewing, most companies don't have a beard wash, so I'm using a a beard octane or Chesapeake beard wash, and then I'm going with their oil. And then if they don't have a butter, I'm throwing in a Detroit grooming butter that night. So yeah, like tonight, literally, I have in the mystery scent oil from Beard Octane. And then I have in Detroit Grooming Butter that I thought paired with it really well. So, yeah. Joe, do you do any fitted hats? I don't think so. But. Yeah. No, I got – um, I have. well, I have the Flex Fits right now. The fitted hats, it's just kind of tough because there's a bunch of different sizes and to find that core group. Oh, yeah. For I would say investing into it, you know, but, I mean, kind of – it's something that could happen. But it only be like a like a probably one or two styles. It wouldn't be like the the snapbacks. You can get into all sorts of different styles. You don't have to worry about sizing, obviously. So yeah, no that that makes sense in that that core group. It made me think about. I was discussing this with you. My <clears throat> my um, Instagram promotion. You know, I, I dabbled, put my feet in the yep. water, dude. It flopped. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. yeah. So I. Yeah. Instagram, whatever, but have you tried anything on Facebook? Am I talking no. about this with some other people? Right? Facebook compared to Instagram when it comes to ads is night and day. Yeah. Whatever, I'm wait, whatever, I'm whatever, I'm whatever, on Instagram more just because, you know, it's, it's mostly visual, you know? Right. So 
my insights. So to give everybody, I, tr- I tried Instagram promotion just to see, because I want to get my Instagram over 10,000 uh, for the sole fact that I can put in videos, put in links, you know, that's, that's what I want that for. So I did that and I, I spent $60. And for me, that's, that's stretched in my comfort zone. I got 101 clicks. <laughs> That was, all that was it. 101 <laughs> clicks on $60. I was like, oh my gosh. They probably wanted to come see me. So, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they just went right over to, yeah, to the other yeah, side. Up. Yeah, you're welcome. But, uh, lesson learned. I was like, okay, all right. That's, yeah, that's it's, it's, it's hit or miss with that stuff. And you don't know what you're going to get out of it, you know? Yeah. Oops. And that is true. I guess you do see a lot more ads on, uh, on Facebook than you do Instagram. Oh, so. I'm not looking at their, you know, social life and they're just scrolling, you know, and stuff yeah. pops up and yeah. And you can sell direct from Instagram ads. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, I don't sell anything. So I don't plan on like, I know when you can click and then sell from there. I don't yeah. plan on doing that. I just want to give a link in my story to my videos. That's, that's all I want is for people to see a video and then swipe up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to have to be a little bit more patient. My Instagram doesn't grow anywhere near my YouTube, which is uh, by design. My YouTube is my main platform. But, uh, yeah. But you know what, I mean, on your videos, though, do you really like push your <clears> – <throat> I know you hit like the subscribe. Do you maybe put, add something, to, you know? I can do that. Instagram. I don't think I've ever mentioned – I haven't you know even – I think you always say, you know, click, subscribe, follow, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If you do anything towards like Instagram. That's not a bad idea. Should have did that on the conditioner one day. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I've ever said follow my Instagram. Yeah, no, I was just thinking about. I don't think you do. Yeah, um, Jason. Yeah, here's the site for our stuff. Uh, Sam added some new shirts and stuff on there and, and everything. Uh, what's your Instagram? We'll give you a follow and get it going. Uh, it's doing well. I'm at like probably close to eight thousand, so I'm getting there. But James, same on here. Dan C. Bearded. Yeah, just give me yeah. give me a shout on there. Give me a follow. Uh, beard octane passed it, got that, that ability for the videos. Does it show you how many like insight on those? Like how many people swipe up and stuff for like the, when you post videos mm-hmm. or the stories and either are. Yeah. Like the, so when you post the stories, I'll tell you that. And then, um, yeah, for the video, it should tell you all that. Yeah. I'm pretty That's sure. cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm just, just kind of getting into all that stuff. Well, they and, have uh, I mean, the, with the reels now on Instagram, that's a whole video thing. And, you know. Yeah, I did the hat one the other day, and those numbers are pretty hat. big. Yeah. And you said your wife has a background in marketing, right? Yep. But <laughs> she's probably watching right now, but uh, Instagram probably isn't her strong suit. So oh, I got to up the speed on that because that would be very helpful right about now. <laughs> so <laughs> putting everything out now, she's been clutching like with the wholesale accounts and the. Uh, yeah, the team nice. of sports. Yeah, yeah, big Duke man. Absolutely, congratulations. Uh, yeah, seriously, man, that was awesome. I mean, all of those names, and yeah, no uh, voting interference, if you will. <laughs> I mean, it was straight up. You guys voted for, you know, for that list. So <laughs> that's that. We're not yet. Yeah, we we counted all the mail in ballots. I promise. Yeah, yeah, it end up in the trash. <laughs> so oh. yeah we're not even going there <laughs> yeah exactly. jason yeah all the um shirts hats hoodies they're all listed underneath the uh, swag on the website you'll see everything's organized on there you'll be able to find pretty much anything yeah um and and we'll probably start wrapping it up here guys now so joe with the uh, the mystery the mystery scent you are it, you're leaning towards probably butter and balm with it as well, right? Yeah, I'll definitely do. I'll do a butter and balm with it. Seems like everyone. I mean, the way butter is going right now, anyways. Um, yeah, definitely butter and balm, and I'm sure it'll probably lead into a soap as well. You know, we we do probably not right away. We'll see how it does with um, before it goes into like an LCW or something like that. Yeah, yeah, this lends itself to a soap real nicely. Yeah, I think with the soap, it'll do very well. So. Um, we it almost of, has a soapy quality to it. Yeah, we we're redoing the uh, the FBW the body wash a little bit too to make it a little bit more lathering. Oh, um, good. Yeah. So we're yeah, that's one yeah. that I've never really talked about a lot because I didn't I didn't use it a ton because it was so thin. Yeah, it, it's not. I mean, especially when you, you use the LCW. Yeah, 
I mean, it's moisturizing for your skin, but it doesn't have like, right. the lathering properties that the LCW does. So we completely tweaked that. So that'll be coming out soon as well. So yeah, absolutely. And got some orders in. Awesome, man. Congratulations yeah, there. And uh, James says uh payday next thursday expect an order yeah and james the uh the dan c10 is always by the way yeah. it's just bumped up tonight so to save 10 percent, you can always throw that that dan c10 on there and uh, i do appreciate that anytime you guys consider that when you you go back in so yeah man awesome well joe man i appreciate you uh my my Thank platform you. for this and, and uh, man yeah. I'm, I'm forever grateful and, and love what yeah. what you created no, nope, same here, brother. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So go ahead and uh, anything you want to say to the people to, to sign them off with? Yes. Uh, thank you. You guys are the best. You know, we you. I think you kind of get an idea how much hard work goes into this company. And I can even express like how grateful we are for your continued support. And honestly, you made every late night worth it. You know, this is just the very beginning. Trust me, we have a lot of cool stuff in the works and I can't wait to be able to share it with you guys because you guys are absolutely the best people. So now thank you. That's all I can really say. So, yeah, absolutely. And thank you guys for hanging out, man. It's it's wild that we were coming up on 200 people in the stream, but also we're still 115 deep uh, two and a half hours later. You guys uh, we can hang out and talk all night. You know, it's yeah, absolute, it's absolute animals. And uh, now that Joe's got his killer setup, I would love to. We start doing. Yeah, something I'm gonna better. hopefully make it more of a uh, regular, apparent, you know, thing. So absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys, thank you for everything. Get a hold of us, either of us, if you ever need. Uh, let me throw up Joe's information again, real quick, down on the bottom. Um, if you won or you ever need to contact uh, Joe at Beard Octane, yeah, um, I get back to every single one of you. So if you ever need anything, have questions or whatever, just reach out, please. Yep. Beard Octane on IG and then sales at beardoctane.com. Um, I promise he will he'll take care of you. That's something I can can say in confidence there. So uh congratulations, guys. Have an awesome weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh stay positive, of course. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. Later, Thank dude. Guys.